Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Calamity. Or rather, slightly modded Calamity, because... I found a mod that fixes the broken soaring insignia. Um, so there's that. Um, I was thinking I could probably farm... I want to try and see exactly how dangerous Enraged Plantera is on the surface, if we've got good gear. And, uh... I don't know, what would be the best weapon for it? Probably Chlorified Bullets. Except we don't have a gun that compares to the Tsunami DPS. Except we don't want to be so close to Plantera as to need um, to aim, to be able to see her, rather. We've got the tactical shotgun is probably as good as it gets for now. Let's see, I don't have any bullets equipped right now, do I? Alright, let's DPS compare these two. Real quick. Um, say 2.8k average for the tactical shotgun. Chain gun is a bit lower. Definitely a bit lower. But um, what about the spread? We could actually be far enough away that some of the bullets from the tactical shotgun... Okay, it's definitely more spread. It's a lot more spread. Okay, I think this is going to be better at range. The uh, chain gun. It's kind of easier to use as well, and we can switch... Oh, that's murderous as opposed to unreal. Okay, let's give it a fair comparison. Unreal it is, and we'll probably be taking this with us. Um, so shotgun was like 2.8k. Wait, was I was I cloaked when I used it last time? Let's make sure. Okay, that that was a big peak with a lot of crits at 4,000. Um, but our DPS is definitely higher here. This will give us a better. This will give us a more precise estimate of DPS, I think. So let's call that like 2400. And the chain gun. Wrong game? Wait, did I not update the title? No. I bet I updated it without pressing the done button again. BG Nymond, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, looks good now. It's fine. This is fine. Um, Alright, so chain gun. We're looking at about 3200 on average. 3100. And what was the tank shotgun? Oh, that is a lot lower. Wow. Okay. I didn't realize the chain gun was this much better. Um, and w just to double check, we don't yet have what we need to upgrade it. We need auric bars, godlike power. Judging by the text color, I don't think we're gonna have access to that just yet. Um, or moon, uh, luminite bars. We need the moon lord. Okay, so let's use the chain gun. I'll put the Tsunami away for the moment. Um, I haven't reorganized my weapons or anything, but I'll put the guns in here. We've got Chlorophyte bullets in here somewhere. 4,000? Um, it's a start. Can we get some more Chlorophyte bullets? I mean, I'm sure this is plenty, but I'd rather be super safe. 
We can always pick up more. And I think I've made most things. Okay, the stuff I haven't made yet with uh, chlorophyte bars is going to take so little time to pick up the chlorophyte for that I'm just not going to worry. Um, and we need musket balls as well. Musket balls. That's not a lot of musket balls. Gimme, gimme. I'll definitely be wanting ammo reservation potions. Um, I think I've already got some, though. In... Uh, in the safe that I don't know where it is. I should probably buy another one. I think I left a safe in the world somewhere, but I want to have one in the piggy bank just in case. Oh, I found it. Well then, um, have a safe. Now then, in our safe we've got occasional potions, including, uh, including ammo reservation potions, question mark? I'm not seeing them. Uh, what about the piggy bank? Definitely not. And while we're at it, let's sort out inventory. Extra ranger emblem in here. Um, let's make the bullets before we quick stack. Oh wow, that's more than expected actually. That's a whole stack. Nice. And that's like 1.2 stacks. Fantastic. Why don't we just sort this? I'll put the musket balls in here as well. Illuminate hook. That's one of my favorites. I feel like changing the appearance of my character again as well. Um, sell that. Stack all these away. I'm surprised I don't have Hellbat banners in here somewhere. Alright, so we have a stack of chlorified bullets. We have... I don't think I have the bullet helmet on me, because I was using arrows. And rockets for our standard attacks. Most of our stuff is menacing. Or half of it, I guess. Soaring insignia, check. Fish run wings, check. Uh, Shroomite gear, check. When can I next uh, get the next... Set of armor, I imagine. I wonder. I think we're ready. Oh, we just gotta double check our buff potions. So we got. Have I run out of um, life force potions? It seems like it. I've barely got any prismite. Let's just make it out of blood orbs. We've got a thousand. They're so much easier to farm. It's only 10. I should just use blood orbs for this. Oh. I ran out of... Uh... Bottled water. Let's make a few of those. I just realized I can just buy bottles from the merchant anytime. So there's no real reason. Actually, there's a few potions that... There's like a couple of potions that this goes into. I guess it's actually just Resto Potion? No, there's a few things. Let's hold on to it. Now then. We have 
vision. Don't need gravity potions now. Oh yeah, I bought 113 after the soaring insignia looked like we would never be free of it. Uh, or rather, we'd never be free of the gravity potions. But we got a mod to fix that. Iron skin, regen, endurance, get out of here, summoning potion. Um... Don't need Featherfall, really, at all. Thorns, definitely. Why do I only have one? Titan Potion isn't going to do anything. Heart Reach? I don't think Heart Reach does anything. The boss doesn't drop hearts until it dies. We definitely want Wrath and Rage. Damage and crit. Inferno potion won't do anything, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I want to confirm that. I'm pretty sure you can't shoot down the projectiles or anything. Um, don't really need magic power. Hunter is built into this thing. Alright, I think we're ready. Or as ready as we're going to be. Stack that away. Oh, I can't yet. There we go. And let's grab the... Portable. And I want to see exactly how scary... Blantera is on the surface. I tried, uh... Pulling Plantera to the surface in vanilla, but it was so hard to, to not make her disappear from getting slightly far away. This way we can just summon her. Alright, so we got homing missiles all the time. A little bit hard to avoid... It, uh, she's going to disappear if we get far enough away, so I can't just describe a really, really massive circle or make her chase me indefinitely, or can I? I thought she disappeared for a second there. Alright, this is working pretty well. Um, she disappeared, didn't she? That is so lame. She was barely... she was in range to keep attacking. So I just have to try timing my dodges between the homing missiles. Ow. Ow. Or maybe go over them, like this. I can't pull her super high into the air. Oh, come on! I was gonna say, but it looks like I can get over the pedals. And then, and she just disappears, like, half a screen away. Okay, fine. I'll try and keep it on screen, despite that being almost suicide. Can I try and go around her? Not even close. Okay. I'm surprised she didn't disappear just now. We can keep this... Oh, come on. I was going to say we could keep this angle up for a while. So I want to pull the projectiles closer to me and then dodge like this, maybe? So as not to upset our precious Plantera. Okay, this seems to be working, but I feel like I just got one tile away from her disappearing. Actually. Or was it because I left the jungle? I don't think I left the jungle. Oh, 
20% down. Okay, I think we've maybe got the pattern here. I'm not scared of dying, I'm just scared of Plantera disappearing without me dying. It's going to be a lot easier once we get past the ranged phase. Actually, I don't know... Ah. This is getting a little ridiculous. How about if I try to stay close? Wait. Oh no. No, 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 no. I was gonna say, I, surely the raid uh, Inferno potion isn't blocking the projectiles. It wasn't. Okay, we stay relatively close, we wait until the projectiles are about to catch up, we dodge and then we fly up and over. I think... I think this is it. I think this is the pattern. Mmm, that was a bit of an exception. So we have to not just dodge the projectiles, but we have to manage our spacing. Stay relatively close, move just fast enough to dodge them all, and then at the end dodge around them. Ow. If I can consistently pull Plantera to the surface in vanilla without her disappearing or catching me. Um, this might become the standard way to deal with her in an arena-less playthrough. And now we don't have to dodge projectiles. That's, that's it, that's the fight. Uh, let's use rockets because we've got lots of little things to deal with. Actually, that's not that effective. Back to bullets. So this is the inverse of the normal Plantera fight. The easiest part is the last part. We will of course need a gravity potion uh, to pull this off in vanilla pre... Well, not just in vanilla, we'll need a gravity potion uh, to pull this off pre-Empress of Light. Damn, she has a lot of health. Maybe I could switch to the bow at this point. If I had it in my inventory, that is. Since we're going to be a lot closer than I thought, we should use the bow the whole time, actually. Um, so let's try that. Let's grab Tsunami again. Uh, I think I will keep the chain gun in my slot one. Put the sword away. Uh, where's our bow? Here it is. And we're, the only trouble with, with this is we now need four types of ammo in our inventory. Um, where did I put it? Venom arrows. Fantastic. Probably stop carrying the stars with me all the time. Even though it's usually a staple of stuff that I don't need to look for for crafting. We got the pygmy stuff, which is 
obviously weaker than the summons we have. But we're not playing summoner right now. Flower of Pow. Oh, Flower Pow. This is a fun weapon. Um, how do I do this? Right click? No, left click? Oh, I need to convert it to a super dummy. Uh, so flower pow. Where did it go? Flower pow actually... Why is it so fast? I'm pretty sure it doesn't behave quite like that in vanilla. Alright, uh, yeah, flower pow actually... That was the wrong thing to get rid of. Where's the pygmy? There it is. Flower Pow actually, like, shoots at your enemies for you while it just sits there. Oh, even while you just spin it? I don't remember it doing that. Is this, um... Is this Calamity's doing, or... Does vanilla... Does the vanilla flower shoot things while you just twirl it? I'm pretty sure this is massively buffed. Good grief. It's also a material. Dragon Pow. We need Flower on Flower Pow. I don't know what bowl of Fugu is, but it's weaker than what we've got. Urchin Flail. Some really late game stuff. Tumbleweed? Releases a rolling tumbleweed on him. So anyway, this is like the ultimate flail, I guess. By the look of it. Uh, we got more living shards. I definitely want to see what we can make with that. Converts wooden arrows into sliding energy bolts. Oh, I think I built this already, actually. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we already have the Plantera Relic. Don't need the Spore Sack. Nettle Burst? I don't know if I had one of these. Let's try Quick Stack. I did not have one of these. But it's pretty weak compared to Calamity things. Alright. Put the pygmy staff away. Why did I pick up pumpkins just now? Flail can go in here somewhere. Uh, and I guess sell the rest. Alright, let's try that with arrows. All the better for the fact that in a future playthrough I could definitely have the tsunami. Uh, forgot to change helmet. Is this it? Arrow damage. Oh, I left a super dummy up there. Um, we're gonna have to fix that. Convert to super dummy, put in slot, right click. There we go. Okay. Surface Plantera, take two, this time with arrows, let's go. Well, take 17 or something, because Plantera kept disappearing, but you get the idea. So we want to stay pretty close, actually. Dodge away when the shots are catching up with us, and then we can change direction.
Uh, oh, normally we wouldn't have venom arrows, but they're not that much stronger. If we're pre-plantera. And there we go. That's it. I'm going to try next time uh, in vanilla instead of looking for a really good spot underground to try to fight Plantera, I'm going to try to pull her to the surface. Does it count as building an arena if I just have a shaft or even just widen the paths to get out of the jungle to get to the surface? You decide. And down she goes. We got the leaf blower. I think we need a couple of these as materials. Uh, jungle key. Seedler I think we had already. Nettle burst. Pygmy staff. Let's do one more and... I'm pretty sure there's at least an item or two. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Pretty sure there's an item or two that we don't have yet. Probably should be wearing holy armor as well. Oh, there's a media. Ow. Oh. I'm not paying attention and doing what I said to do with the slow dodge. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I need the vision. There we go, there we go. And we're done. This is the victory lap. I could of course have even more damage if I had a quiver, but this thing is applies damage to everything. Oh, you can get hearts out of those little guys, but I don't think they're going to add up to much over the entire boss fight. They're hard to hit too. I think that'll probably do for Plantera, unless we look at boss log and see something missing that we really want. I don't think I got the grenade launcher, but we've got the snowman cannon. It's fine. We didn't get the thorn hook. We didn't get the axe. Um, the axe turns into something really cool. Blossom flux. I don't think that's vanilla, is it? Igor... Uh, Vozen, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we could do a music box for Plantera. Should we do a music box? Let's do it. Now, how does this work again? I think you just have to have it in your, whoops, uh, in your access, in one of your accessory slots while fighting the boss. Let's clean up our inventory first. I believe this is our first leaf blower. Uh, it's actually magic damage. I thought it was ranged. It's not that good. I mean, it's a lot. It's decent damage for the mana, but you can do better by the time you can get this. Um, it is a material, though. This is one of the reasons we're farming Plantera. 
Um, what was the other thing? Nettle burst, we've already got. I think we've already got Seedler, we do. Whatever that was, we had it already. Jungle key, we've already used. Um, temple key, of course. What's in here? Another leaf blower? There's our grenade launcher. I think we did already have it, actually. Yeah, 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 we did. Um, quick stack all the things. What's this? Lantera seedling. Oh, isn't it cute? What pet is... What pet do we have here right now? The lizard. I think I remember this one looking kind of cool when it flies. Yeah. Uh, we'll go the seedling for now. Pets can go here-ish. Wait, that's the wrong... The wrong pet. Oh, I was also considering... I kind of want to see what it would look like... I don't think this is necessarily going to go very well, um, but I kind of want to see what it looks like to fight Empress with fish run wings. Uh, not the, uh, not fish run wings, but rather the mount pig run thingamajig. Where is it? I don't think I would have thrown away the last one. Right, right? Probably? I I may just have... Oh, here it is. Truffle. Um, it's rather slow to get going. Okay, how fast can we go horizontally in this? Uh, I, I need speed display. I think the DPS meter has it. I don't think it's fast enough. There's another flying mount that I have from Vanilla as well. Oh, there's two actually. I've even got the cosmic car key, but well, I feel like um, I guess we could always use the grab potions. I'm just thinking about a future, um, a, a more optimized path to get good gear without arenas. So Kaki is a bit hard to get, to say the least. Does it say the odds here? We need the uh, Martian Saucer, Kaki. It doesn't say the odds of dropping it, but it's not great, I don't think. We still don't have the Xenopopper, and I think that's a material in this, in Calamity. So we're going to need to do another... another Martian event or two. Xeno staff is going to be fun as well. Alright, there's also... the Witch's Broomstick, I think it's called. I wish this was a bit more organized. Uh, let's see. I didn't put mounts over here, did I? No, we're good. I'm sure I had a witch's broomstick. I don't think it's in here. Oh, did I put it in... In the piggy bank? No? In the safe? No? Surely I didn't sell it. Oh, here it is. Witch's Broom. It's a little hard to see. Alright, so we can see our speed. 45 miles per hour running. Uh, Truffle. A Jess Jack. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, it's almost as fast as sprinting left, but that's kind of slow to be honest, if we're fighting Empress. We get a bit more speed on the diagonals, but I don't think this is going to cut it. Um, Cosmic Khaki is only a little bit faster actually. 58 on the diagonal. Yeah, they're almost the same speed. What about the Witch's Broom? 46 horizontal, that is a significant improvement. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be enough for what I have in mind. I do want to try it though. So, I've seen someone cheesing Empress with rail in the sky. Uh, and that's with the, uh, what is it called? The mechanical cart, which goes ridiculously fast. But for the most part, they could literally avoid all of the attacks just by running away in a straight line. I don't think we're going to be able to do that with a flying mount, but I'm thinking maybe we can fly away from Empress for, you know, basically the entire world and then turn around. Because so many of her attacks are a lot less threatening if you're running away horizontally, uh, especially horizontally. Because when she rushes back into position, um, if you're running away vertically, she may go straight through you. Which makes it look like she just teleports onto your face. Um, so what's this? Blossom Flux. Right click to fire a spore orb that explodes into a cloud of spores. I think I did look at this, actually. That is... That is a weird... That is a weird uh, bow. It's probably not going to even compare to Tsunami. That's what we're used to anyway. I stand corrected? 5.7k. Okay, Tsunami is still way better. I do... It, that's actually promising enough, though, that I want to see um, what it looks like if they're both unreal. Is this modded? Um, the uh, Blossom Flux, or is that vanilla? I don't think I've ever had it before. It sounds pretty vanilla. Let me out. Okay, uh, so we're looking at a peak of 10k. Yeah, no, this is... I mean, it's a lot better for not bumping into the floor that you're shooting from and stuff, but... Also... Wow. Um, hard to find a more easy to use weapon. If you have to aim. I don't know if it's worth the loss of DPS against a boss, but against most things? It doesn't pierce or anything. But that's okay. I don't know, I might have to use it. This is probably like, if it is vanilla, this is probably like the super buffed Calamity version. Alright, um, anyway, we get more deeps from Tsunami, and we're only switching to a bow when we want deeps. But I'll put that away for now. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to check or compare? Uh, we got a wasp gun. Oh wow, that does more than I thought it would. Um, that might even be worth playing with as a mage. It's also 
part of an upgrade path for the bee gun and the wasp gun. As soon as we do the vortex fragments, we can get the swarmer. Quite looking forward to trying that, to be honest. Where's our stash of bee guns? I think we have one. Yeah, there they are. Wasp gun. Um... Oath sword? Oh, that's this thing. Yeah, I was in... I was in the underground for a while there. Let's stack this away. Put away the extra warrior's emblem. Oops. Uh, living shard. Turtle shell. Wait, where did I just stack a DPS meter? Here it is. Okay, let's put all our mounts here so we know where they are. Have I got too many living shards to stack? Hard mode calamity? They should be here. I thought I quick stacked living shards before. Where do they go? Don't tell me I sold them. That doesn't sound right. Near the anvil. Living shards. I haven't even used these chests at the top, that's good. Alright, I guess living shards go in here? I could have sworn I had tons of them. Maybe I did use them or sell them. Speaking of selling... Um, Bloomstone. Ancient relics. Quickly regenerate life while on the ground. This effect works best during daytime. Flowers grow if you're standing on the grass. Random dye plants will grow while standing on grassless dirt. Uh, I probably have one. Let's just put it in here. I was going to say I probably have one for my collection somewhere, but maybe not. Alright, stack away the rest of this. And... Sell rusted pipes. Oh, that's from tearing up one of those bases a little bit. And fire imp banner. Okay, cool. Let's go get... Has a chance to record songs. I'm pretty sure that only works when it's in an accessory slot. So let's go get it. Uh, sun stuff? Where are you? Oh, it's in my piggy, I think. Let's just go Terra Prismas. And you know what? I'll even drink to that. If I can find where my summoning potions are. Alright. Oh, that's fast. Okay, 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 okay. It's actually kind of harder to see her in dusk. Everything's the same color. Ow. Try and get a bit closer. Not that close. That's good, actually. Oh, I, I didn't even think of that. That was bad because the house was there. But, um... 
we can use... You know what, I'm just going to cancel this fight and get my health back. Now she doesn't disappear? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I completely forgot about using the... Uh, the slime mount to drop out of the sky faster. We can probably circle her. Let's get our health back first. Camper? Um... Shiny stone? Toy tank, just in case. We're not just getting our health back, we're getting it back without resetting our healing potion cooldown. Oh no. Oh, it worked already! We got the, uh... We got the Plantera music. Fantastic. Alright, let's swap that out. And then... I might just put this over here. Why can't I fly? Because I'm wearing the camper. You absolute buffoon. Uh, music box. Let's put it here. It looks like a bulb. Why is it not playing? Oh, there it goes. That's cool. Now then. Uh, Porta bulb once more? Or did we get everything from Plantera? I forgot. Ow, that didn't work. Let's make sure we use the slime mount to drop it next time. Ow, wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah, we can circle her. Oh, this is... this is much easier. Just a little bit... Ah, okay, okay, bad timing. Gotta pay attention to when she's gonna switch. I think it's 50%. We did bounce off her. If I was paying more attention, we could have just reacted to that. But, um... Yeah, to get through the first phase, that is much easier. It'll be trickier having to do it with grab potions, of course, but that's fine. What just hit me? Bruh. Give me those hearts. There we go. What? Oh, King Slime. Oh no. What's them swords on your back? Uh, that is normally something that you have to kill the Empress of Light during the daytime to get. Um, but for some reason in Calamity she dropped it at nighttime. Uh, it is called Terra Prisma and it is a very, very strong summoning weapon, specifically for single target damage. Um, it's right here. This is like, literally the hardest item to get in the vanilla game. But for some reason, Calamity basically deleted Soaring Insignia, so I modded it back in. Um, they, they took away the infinite flight. Just why? Um, but they drop Terra Prisma, which, uh, during a nighttime fight, which, uh, normally you have to fight Empress of Light during the day, where she will one-shot you every single time. Um, but yeah, that's what that weapon is. Uh, Gnikiv Lob, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Josh the Mage, welcome, welcome also. Alright, so continuing with the boss fight experiments. Um, let me just stack away some of this stuff first. Quick 
quick stack. What's this? Royal Delight. Oh, right. Get out of here. Tenth temple key. Actually, maybe... Oh, it's too late. I was going to say maybe I could keep the keys as a count of how many times I've killed Plantera. Um, but no. Cool, I need that for the character I'm playing in vanilla. Uh, good luck with... I'm pretty sure the hardest boss fight in vanilla. There are a couple of ways you can somewhat cheese it. But... Even then, it's a bit dangerous. Well, it's definitely dangerous, no matter how you go about it. Since you'll die in one hit. You can mitigate a single hit with holy armor. Uh, hallowed armor, rather. Uh, and if you're very lucky, you can mitigate a hit or two with ninja gear. Um, vanilla ninja gear, that is, gives you a I think it's a 10% chance to just not take damage. Okay, so I think we're done with Plantera, right? Let's see. Plantera. Where is Plantera? Way back here. No, we still don't have the axe. What does the axe turn into? Face Melter, 216 magic damage. Where do we get Stellar Tune? Okay, well, I'm going to worry about this when I've got Cosmolite Bars and Nightmare Fuel. Because it'll probably be even easier to kill Plantera then. Uh, the Stellar Tune drops from Empress of Light. Oh no. Well, I was just about to try... I want to experiment with, um... I, I want to experiment with flying mounts against Empress. I don't think the Shrimpy Truffle or the Cosmic Car Key are going to do us any good. I think there's a small chance Witch's Broom is going to be helpful. Small chance. We're never going to have time to use Honey <laughs> against Empress. So I'll put it there. Actually, I'll put it here. Okay, um, let's re-up our summoning potion, make sure we don't lose our swords, sell this stuff, what did I just pick up, there we go, and then this is extra, okay. We need the Hallow to summon the Empress. That's why I have this teleporter up here. We need a Prismatic Lacewing, actually. Prismatic... Is this our last one? I think it is. Wow, I killed Empress on the second last Prismatic Lacewing I had left. Okay, what time is it? Too late to find more of them. It's more time efficient if we use a... Um, I don't think I want to use arrows necessarily. I, okay, definitely not explosives. Let's put the bullet helmet here and we'll be able to swap it out. Alright, what time is it? 3.27am? That won't do. Alright, 7.30pm. I forgot I had this. We can just change the time to morning or evening whenever we want. Oh, I have the guide to critter companionship. Um... I don't want to trash it, because... Oh no, come back, come back, come back. You're joking! No! 
No! The critter got away. Uh, Alright, let's get another one. We can easily do that because we can manipulate time. I might want to increase the spawn rate though. Yeah, you can see this is a pretty good demonstration of how good and bad the uh, uh, swords are. They're excellent. They, they, they are by far the best um, summoning weapon for fighting a boss. But if you're going into the dungeon and the great advantage of summoner is everything gets attacked. So everything takes scratch damage and doesn't get a chance to attack you with those teleporting mages. Uh, this weapon is actually terrible for that. But they do focus one target very, very aggressively. Alright, we got our lace wing again. Um, I want... Oh, I didn't take ammo reservation potions. Uh, okay. Let's go get some of those. Whoops. It's going to save us a lot of farming. Or well, 20% of it anyway. I don't like to put the uh, critic Guide to Critic Companionship in the trash slot because if I die it'll be gone. But it's not that expensive to replace or anything. Alright. Whoop. Wrong button. Alright. Mount, what have you got for me? This is not going to be fast enough, I don't think. This is our fastest one. If we can't do it with this... We're definitely not doing it with the, uh, the fish run flying mount. Okay. Oh, oh, ow, 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 never mind. Never mind with the okay. okay. Oh, all right, all right. I think, I think that's a hard no on using a flying mount against Empress. Maybe I could have done that better. We'll give it one more try. But... I don't think it's going to be a significantly easier way to beat her. Because we can't quite go fast enough. Maybe if we turn the mount on and off and dash, um, which means we're not going to have the gel mount equipped we're not going to have it equipped anyway if we're going to do this. Uh, the slime mount. So, like... Where's my dash? Oh. Oh, wait, what? I don't have a dash, that's why it's not working. I thought it was, like, nerfed so you can't dash after switching from the flying mount or something. Okay, ninja gear, wings, mount... Unmount dash, mount. Unmount dash, mount. We need to do it without the soaring insignia too, because that's the point of this exercise. Morpheus is out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I should probably just have yet another damage accessory. Um... If I'm gonna... If I'm gonna be doing it this way. Let's let's go all vanilla with this part. Because that's sort of half the point of the exercise. Double quiver. So double quiver... We can't have a destroyer emblem. Wait, yes we can. Yeah, no, this would be post Gollum before we go after Empress. 
if, if you can go after Empress before... Well, no, there's no point. You can't fight Empress before Plantera. And once you get Plantera, you can just delete Golem effortlessly. Um, so... What time is it? 4.30 a.m. 7.30 p.m. I always lose your streams, but not today. Not today, indeed. Uh, Kavatho, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice emote, by the way. Okay, so we're gonna try... I probably shouldn't have the summons, but it's just gonna be, like, a little bit more damage. It's like, whatever. For the purpose of testing whether this works for our boss fight, it doesn't really matter. So we got fish on wings, um, spooky... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Good thing we can just buy potions of return. Uh, fish run wings, spooky, uh, witch's broom rather. Some ranger gear. Could go for mage instead. But the point is, it's like squishy damage. Because we're not going to survive many hits from the Empress either way. Whoops. Uh, and I'm going to try mount plus dashing. So that we can get a bit more horizontal speed while flying. I don't like my chances. No, don't disappear, bloody hell. Okay. And then we fly up and left. And then we dash to keep distance. And then we fly up and left. And then we dash to keep distance. Almost messed that up. Up we go. That's not great, but it's not that bad. Dash. Fly up. Fly up. Okay. Dash. Heal. This is actually working surprisingly well. Nope. That's fine. Dash. Dash. This is where it really starts to... We see if this movement technique works, because I don't have any flight time left. Dash, 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 fly. Ooh, okay. Dash, 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 fly. Dash, dash, dash. I think it basically can work. Maybe. Oh, she's still here? No. It's always tough. Empress of Light is always tough, but I think that might be viable. Why is there no sound? Okay, there we go. An L. Yeah, I think that might be viable. I'm going to try the hell out of it in uh, sandbox mode. We do need to kill Empress again uh, if we want that guitar. But I'm I'm not feeling like that right now. But let's, uh, let's not, actually. Alright, so we're going to put the Witch's Broom somewhere where I can find it this time. How about in the piggy bank? Cosmic Khaki and Shrimpy Truffle are practically the same. Um, and let's get our infinite flight back. Also, I forgot to use arrows after going all in on arrow damage. Um, kind of. But that wasn't really the point of the exercise. It was to see if we could, by f 
flying away with the broom. Uh, keep it going. And it does look viable. Okay. So who's next on the chopping block? We've got... Oh no. Astrum Aureus. I might just come back to this boss when I'm overpowered for it, to be honest. From what little I saw of it, it was extremely obnoxious. Uh, Betsy is just we need insane DPS. Uh, we can't exactly, like... She's not that hard to survive, but we have to kill her super fast because it's at the end of the Old Ones army event. And we have to kill her before the Eternia Crystal dies. Um, so we'll just come back to her with, like, probably post Moonlord gear. Plague Bringer Goliath. That is. That looks lovely. How do we summon it? Abomination. Oh, that's right. I was farming these. Plague Cell Cannon. Did I already make this? Abomination. Um, I don't think so. We need Iron, Stinger, Obsidian, Plague Cell. Where are the Plague Cell canisters? Here they are. Uh, Obsidian and Iron... Oops. And Stinger, was it? That's a lot of Stingers. Fun fight, indeed. Schlurpus, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Abomination. Okay. And do we need to fight it in the jungle? Uh, in the jungle? It doesn't tell us anything like it enrages out of the jungle or anything like that. Uh, alright. Well, according to boss log, this one's next. So, let's give it a try. I mean, according to boss log, Astrum Aureus is easier than Gollum. I'm extremely offended at this but we'll see minions jungle actually nah I was gonna say can we get some plantera music but I want to see what music we get with this Oh, that sounds safe. We're on bullets, right? Yeah, bullets. Uh, okay. It dashes sometimes. Uh, it dashes like... Okay. It dashes from the very edge of the screen. Very, very, very suddenly. We should probably keep going left. I'm gonna die. I should probably... I should probably restart the fight, but... Let's be brave. It's gonna dash. Yep, 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 yep. Nope. Are you kidding me? It flew on the other side of me. Is it gonna chase? I'm gonna die. Why is it that fast? That's not okay. Oh, I should have healed up fully first. Alright. Let's see if we can get a feel for this pattern. Two dashes. Three dashes. Four dashes. Do we just need to go in circles? Surely it's not that easy. But someone did say that their, like, rationalization for deleting Soaring Insignia was 
Oh, it's too OP against some of the bosses. If that's how your bosses are designed... All I can say is tisk tisk. Don't ruin one of the best items in the game so that your boss designs work. Alright, so far so good. Because it's not just like a powerful item, it's quality of life. You gonna dash? No? Now you're gonna dash. Missiles have a those homing missiles have a lot of hit points for missiles. Oh, rude. Alright, this is going well so far. This is probably the easy part though. I mean, of course it is. It's a Terraria boss. Even if it is modded. So far, so good. If I didn't have Soaring Insignia, the difference with this boss fight would be... I just have to memorize the exact pattern and timing and go to the ground at exactly the right moment. Or I could just use a grab potion, that works as well. And get the disorientation. Nope, nope, nope. Not like this. Not like this. It's pulling out a new attack pattern. I think we're better off fleeing most of the time now. As opposed to circles. When, I, when can I heal? 30 seconds. That's not good. What about dodge? That's on a long cooldown as well. We're too shot at the moment. Up we go. You gonna dash again? No, nope. time for something new. Okay. I was trying to portal. <sighs> and now it portals? Okay, I see how it is. The plague? Take your book out of the trash. It's gone now. <laughs> I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, not the most unreasonable boss fight, though. From what I've seen so far. Do we have ammo? We have ammo. I'm pretty sure pressing B for buffs used to summon bosses as well. Maybe I should be using the arrows, actually. Oh, thought you could trick me, did you? Most of the time he's not that hard to hit. Actually, I don't know. When he gets off screen, it's obviously a problem. But I think we're getting that much more... Really? Yeah, look at this. Oh, come on. Like, he cornered me. I, I knew where that was going in the last three seconds, and I didn't see a way out of it. I 
Should have just portal, I guess. The trouble with using arrows as opposed to homing bullets is we're not shooting down the homing missiles a lot of the time. But the homing missiles are quite bad at catching us. Their real function would be to corner us so that something else can hit us. Alright, so far so good. Can, can you not? It's gonna keep chasing me like this until... okay, it didn't dash actually. Uh, what? I, I didn't have time to read that text. Something about Plague Nuke Barrage? Oh, do I need to make sure that those missiles aren't even close to me when they explode? That's fine, I guess. Couldn't quite squeeze through... There we go. Doing, doing okay, actually. We've lost our dodge, but that's all we've lost. Oh, oh, okay. Little distracting when OBS, the new version, does that weird... Uh, can I, can I live? We're good. New version of OBS just did that weird flicker off screen. Tried to catch you before, but delay, indeed. Check Deathlog. The plague got you the first time. Yeah. Hero, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so my instinct, because I've been doing too much Empress of Light, was that I have to, like, aggressively dodge through the tiniest gap with those missiles. Uh, towards the end of the fight. But actually I've got plenty of space. Like, if I just take my time, we can just move through those easily. So we just need zero mistakes. Well, we need, like, Less than three mistakes, really, if we're unlucky. Where is he? Probably don't need my inventory screen open here. I hate when they fly in such a way that's just like, yeah, I know you're incredibly fast, but I'm just going to arbitrarily match your speed and position and block you if you want to go over me. Physics? What's that? I don't care. Empress does that all the time. Ow. Not liking the plague, actually. Maybe I should be using specific armor set against this boss. The one that's plague resistant. It's actually just like another extra hundred damage or something. Not that big of a deal. Okay, now it's a big deal. The pattern from those rockets is kind of obnoxious. Not gonna lie. Need to get over him. Need to get over him, but it's arbitrarily impossible. Okay. You could see... It was just off screen, but you could really see it there. Like, I should have been able to dash over his head there, but he just, like defied physics and matched speed, even though he can't keep up most of the time. Magnus Totrop. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I just want bosses that follow, like, consistent rules and not 
make shit up as they go. <laughs> I wonder if we can dash away when he starts doing those diagonal rockets. Oh my god. Yeah, now, right there. Should have been able to dash past him. But he was getting ready for a dash, so that's out of the question. He was like hovering, chasing me there. Alright, so now it gets real. And once again, arbitrary acceleration. Just have to memorize patterns and know when the boss will cheat. <sighs> Sadly, I'm not. I think I got the corona. Oh no. The stream helps with the healing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Got any tips for pre hard mode, the beginning of hard mode? Uh, pre hard mode? Depends where you're up to. The first thing I'd tell someone if they're new is cactus armor is best first armor. Ouch. Um, an Anusis? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, can we heal up please? Okay. And I thought he was about to do it again. Right there. This is... this is like... This is kind of like rubber banding ch uh, racing AI. Or like if a Rocket League bot was able to just teleport to save a good... Uh, to save a goal that it shouldn't have. I, I really hate the way this boss follows, like, it's cheap movement. Cannot exaggerate the extent to which this is like what I think of as bad boss fight design. Make it fast, by all means. Don't make it effectively teleport when it's pretending that it's following the laws of physics. And we're dead. Let's not. I chose summoner class. Summon is really good for basically everything but boss fights for the most part. It's good for walking around. If she doesn't cheat, you would just fly away all the time and it would be super easy. No, you could make it faster. You could make it very, very difficult to fly away all the time. Not by having it arbitrarily catch up, but by just being that fast. And moving in such a pattern that... what the hell was that? Like, there are so many things you could do. It's, it's just lazy. Do 
bullet hell bosses don't do these things, and no one thinks they're easy. Fisheron doesn't do this, and no one thinks Fisheron is easy. Fisheron is actually tough but fair. He teleports behind you in his last phase, but he does it in such a way that's like... Okay, he teleports and then he hesitates and you have time to do something. It's not teleportation disguised as regular movement. That's just blocking your escape route. The most unfair thing about Fishron is the Sharknadoes that end up being off-screen and then you run into them uh, if you're unlucky and or not careful. Okay, so far so good. Now he's going to pull out the diagonals. And we had to know that ahead of time, of course. Where is he? This is working out pretty well this time. Okay, that's bad. And I got lucky with where he happened to be as I was running out of space. I am surprised I got away with that. He was doing the thing. Setting up for the dodge where he's just like stuck in place no matter how I move. Like if he can move like that, it doesn't make sense that he wouldn't just run straight into my face no matter where I go. There's no... it's not plausible. It's not plausible that I would be able to survive him for five seconds if he was able to perfectly match my velocity, no matter how fast or no matter where I go, and be exactly this far away from me as I try to get around him. Like, if his attack is charging into me, he should just charge into me and I would be dead. All right, what do we got? Let's see what we picked up from him. Uh, first of all, where does Plague Plague Bringer Goliath go on our on our list of trophy? What the on our list of trophies? Uh, Plague Bringer Goliath, right after Betsy. Second one after Martian Saucer. And there you go. Onto the wall. Good job, I think the soul is in the sky. The lore thing. Does it show it on the map? Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. Did I use the Potion of Return or did I use magic mirror. I think I probably used magic mirror. Adis Ababas. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Treasure bag. We got ruthless malevolence. Those are some words that go together. Converts wooden arrows into plague arrows that explode into bees on death. So this is a very, very upgraded bee's knees. 172 range damage sounds huge, but we're comparing it to uh, five arrows at a time. Also, it's 172 range damage if I'm sitting still, which, no. Um, but let's give it a fair comparison regardless. 167 
fires two arrows at once. We need to give it wooden arrows so that it doesn't shoot venom arrows. Um, so this goes here. Looks like we got a bit of piercing. Does it bounce? No. It oh, it kind of bounces. What the hell? 86. So we get... We do get it. Uh, if after it bounces, it pierces one, it looks like. Converts wooden arrows into plague arrows that explode and send bees everywhere on death. I'm not seeing the bees. Oh, there they are. Oh, so if we miss. Or, no. It, we're just. The bees are dying instantly if I shoot them straight into a wall. Where do I find Goblin Engineer? Um, once you've, uh, once you've done the Goblin Army, he'll just show up uh, underground somewhere. If you have a Hunter Potion, you'll probably won't miss him when you otherwise might have. Meowgumin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Launches a variety of rockets that explode into bees on death. Rockets will destroy tiles with tile-destroying ammo, of course. Um, but does it launch homing missiles? It's a bit more damage than the snowman cannon. But of course, all of those have to hit first. Which they basically always do with snowman cannon. But this one gives us plague and bees. Launches a variety of rockets. Huh. Maybe we could use this for our AoE instead of Elf Melter? But we've already got AoE from the Snowman Cannon, and Elf Melter's just amazing when we've got a line of enemies, but it would be one less type of ammo we have to carry. I hardly ever use the Elf Melter anyway. Uh, we could give this one a go. Let's make it unreal. Oh, what? And we've got a gun as well. Playgrounds that explode and split apart on death. 306 range damage if we're sitting still. It's a material that makes... Well, it basically just gets an upgrade. Um, adept Plague Staff. Fires a spread of plague fangs. I think I'm th uh, seeing a theme here. Didn't our armor set also buff plague damage? Or was that a set bonus? This one is regen and stuff, so I don't know if it has it. Um, I think I'll, I'll have to put them on to test it. Unreal Malevolent. I don't remember upgrading this. Did we just get it as Unreal to start with? Alright. I don't see myself using the pistol. We'll put it there in the upgrade. There's my ammo reservation potions. Oh no, I stacked them away. I never actually used them. Uh, that's a shame. Plague stuff. Don't think it's going to compare to some other stuff, especially not for mana efficiency. Um, it's not even a material. Can you imagine being a, a calamity weapon and not being a material? 
Yeah, I don't think we're going to use the bow. I do want to try the hive rocket. Instead of the elf melter. Um, we'll put away... I should probably stop carrying the endless... Uh, ammo things. Let's put these in here. Um, fallen stars can go here. Actually, uh, rockets, bullets, and arrows. We're still carrying all of those. And we pick up gel more often than the stars, so I guess we're not changing what we're carrying here. Does this hurt us? No, it doesn't. Okay. I'll give it a try. I don't think it's gonna outcompete snowman cannon. Because it's both AoE and homing. Oh, this is a material? Universe splitter. Okay. Let's put that away for now. Uh, infected armor plating. We've only got 30. Presumably we need more... No? We could make the armor set. Gatling laser? Magic damage. Uh, Dubious plating, mysterious circuitry, and life alloy. Do we have life alloy? I don't think we have life alloy. Where do we get life alloy? How do I check? Um, life alloy. Green means recipes. I think. But I want to see how to make it. Can we make it or... Yeah, we make it, actually. Cryonic bar. Was that from that one boss that was way too powerful for how early you're supposed to kill it? Uh, cryo something or other? I killed it just once. When we, cryogen. Yeah, this thing... We went back to this because I completely forgot to kill it, and it was uh, way more dangerous than you'd think. And the loot drops were way too weak for how strong this was. Um, is this where we get... No? Cryostone? I don't think that's how we make... Cryonic bar. Where does this come from? Cryonic bar. Uh, do I need to double click it like here? Or how does this work? I don't know where to find it. Okay. Okay, how strong is this stuff that Cryonic bar can make? Five defense on a magic hood. I I think it's a bit out of date already. 35% fishing power? Yeah, um... This should be behind us by now, but... I can't figure out how to make it. Or find it. It also spawned after killing Cryogen in the frozen biome. Oh, I see. Should I go back there and farm? Kind of like the jungle since I don't know what. Plantera? Probably. Let's put the elf melter in here. What about... Okay, first of all, let's take off our armor. And I wanted to check... I think it was the reaver gear. Check what that does 
specifically with the plague. Um, that's a lot. It's damage down, defense up, regen way up, life steal. I played around with this a little bit with like a uh, fishing like AFK fishing gear set. Well, not AFK, just sitting still and ignoring the enemies. What about this one? Set bonus. Flight time. Reduces the cooldown of dashes. That is... I can't feel the cooldown difference at all. Yeah, it's like nothing, really. But I thought one of these had something to say about immunity to the plague, or at least being less susceptible to it. But maybe I'm misremembering, maybe it's from somewhere else. Okay. You got a message that says blah blah underground is energized or something. From that last boss or ages ago. The underground uh the underground snow biome, I'm guessing. Should we make anything out of this? We need alchemical flask. I don't know how to make that. Bee wax, plague cell, canister, and bottled water. That's easy enough. Ancient manipulator plus honeycomb plus alchemic flask makes plague hive. All attacks inflict the plague and grant immunity. Grants immunity to the plague. Releases bees when damaged. Projectiles spawn plague seekers on enemy hits. Fascinating. We're upgrading the bee breastplate with this. Uh, I kind of want to see how that goes, actually. Do we have the bee armor set? I don't think we do, but we can get it very easily. Actually, we should have the materials for it lying around. Pre hard mode vanilla? Uh, I don't know where... Does it go into a potion at all? I don't know if I've got the wax lying around, but we could delete Queen Bee probably more easily than we could find the resource that I'm looking for in these chests somewhere. Unpleasant Infected Remote. 112 summon damage. Where's my Terra Prismas? What? Why is it way down here? Look at my buffs. There's like uh, nine of them in a row, and then just a huge gap, and Terra Prisma is down here. Alright. Why isn't this working? Oh, is it, is it a spell? 112 summon damage, insane knockback. There's a faded note written on it in green. Only the first line is readable. She won't afflict you, I promise. Summons the harbin Harbinger of the Plague? Question mark? Consumes all the remaining minion slots on use. Must be used from the hotbar. Increased power based on the number of minion slots used. Interesting. So it is a summon, but why does it have to be used from the hotbar? Maybe some kind of mod limitation, somehow? Hey, Jimbo Panda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
I was battling Fishron on Master Revengeance mode, and for some reason a second Fishron would randomly spawn halfway into the fight? Jeebus. Yeah, I would nope out of there real quick. Um, Alright, can we drop this? Unfortunately for you, she's quite contagious. Okay. Uh, slow fuel cell bundle. This does summon de- what the? What? That's different. So it's a summon spell. This is like the second one we've found. What? It's not an attack, it's just a really weirdly animated summon. Yeah, it's, it's just a minion. Releases a small special variant of the Plague Bringers. We can upgrade it to Tactical Plague Engine. Someday. That was weird. Let's put these in here. And actually, I wonder what happens if we have two minion slots. But let's make it three minion slots. I, I could, we could even super cheese it by switching armor. If this works, I would be very surprised and amused. Um, let's just go... Tiki armor. Accessories. More minions. More minions. More minions. <laughs> So we got plus one, two, three, seven, uh, eight, nine. Nine minions. We've got nine minion slots once I remove the mini plague bringer. Uh, and I'm going to use the bewitching table and a summoning potion. And then we're going to use the unpleasant infected remote. Let's upgrade it first. Ruthless. Okay. We can't see any difference though. I would have to check with like um, some damage tests. That was weird. You know what? Let's test it. Let's get ourselves a super dummy. Um, wait, where did it go? Super dummy. What? What am I? Slot six. There we go. You're going to attack it, right? Okay. Not so good for hitting things through walls or anything like that. And we'll get our DPS meter. Uh, we'll get our DPS meter. So this is with the maximum number of summons. Where did my... Where did my dummy go? What? Which boss is next? Cultist? Yeah, probably Cultist. Did I not just have a super target dummy? In my inventory? Astrum Deus and Ravager are post-Cultist but pre-Moonlord? Astrum Deus. So, are you telling me that Boss Log has lied to me? About when I should be doing... Astrum Deus? Astrum Aureus, that's different. Astrum... Are they the same thing? 
Astrum Aureus. They are dead? Oh, okay. Where did my target dummy go? Am I blind? What? Whoops. Where? Did anyone see it? Like, I had a super target dummy in slot 6, did I not? And then I didn't, like, drop it or anything, and it was just gone. Let's grab one more. Okay, target dummy. Super dummy. Slot 6. Uh, left click to make a dummy, a target. We're going to look at DPS for a bit. It's not that good, really. It's very inconsistent. I guess I could try putting it up in the sky. Alright, well, what is it hitting for? 230, 225, 295, 245. Let's call that 2 to 300. It's sometimes lower, even. Alright, somewhere in the 200s. Um, and then we're gonna get rid of our minion slots. Oh, it disappeared. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would have been very surprised if we were able to cheese it like that. Um, I guess I need to make another target dummy now. Where's the hay? Or did I just make hay literally when I need it? That would make a lot of sense. So that we have one less thing to wonder where it is. Let's go sickle. Whoops. Oh, um. Okay, can we get the guide to critic companionship back? Because I don't love murdering defenseless bunnies. Wait, how much hay do I need? Only 50. Alright, perfect. Target dummy. I thought I saw some other stuff there. Oh, that's where it went. Do you see? Do you see where our target dummy got to? Okay. Angry Goblin Tech goes here. Uh, armor goes here. Sticky mask. Should probably... No, I should keep it here. And then... Accessories. Weird Summon goes here. Toxic Heart. Summons the pla a plague aura around you that damages nearby enemies. Oh, it's an accessory. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a short break. We'll do words on stream. I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
One more. One more. Getting some surprisingly hard ones early on. Okay, let's get back to Terraria, shall we? No one saw that. It's fine. Don't worry. So, what was this accessory again? Uh, summons a plague aura around you that damages nearby enemies. Um, it's not going to work on a regular target dummy. I think. It's not even going to work on a super target dummy? Makes you immune to plague. Yeah, but I'm not seeing the damage come out. Okay. Um, let's put this back. And I don't know where to put it. Um, just accessories in general, I guess. Defensive. It wasn't a material, was it? No, nope, not a material. Um, let's put our sky glaze. We can make baguettes? Why didn't someone say we could make baguettes? Why is it made out of hay? That's so weird. Uh, Melondrome? Ridley? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, what else can we make with this? Can we make anything right now is the question, and I think the answer is... We need life alloy every single time. And I don't think I can make it yet, or I don't know if I can make it yet. So chuck that in the hard mode calamity chest. Um, you can have your sickle back. And get, ri get rid of the hay. Okay. Um, so what's next? Ravager? That looks nasty. <laughs> Spawn info. Use a death whistle. Solar tablet fragment. Lizard brick. Did I make this already? I did. Okay. Do we use it anywhere specific? Doesn't look like... Oh, I think I remember. I died to this. Um, we we tried this in the last, like, two seconds of the last Terraria stream. 
He's a buffed golem. Hate this dude. Okay. Let's uh, let's get a feel for what he's. Oh my goodness. Why does it scream? Oh right, I forgot he makes those stupid walls. Um, so far so good, I guess. He's invincible? Am I too far away? Please don't tell me this is another tear clots. It says it. No, 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 I remember this. It says invincible, but we are dealing damage. Ow. Rip my dodge. I don't like how it just teleports in walls out of nowhere in the middle of the sky. So we basically have to not be moving laterally when he's about to teleport those walls. The rest of the projectiles are so easy to dodge though. So I guess we really just have to like be aware. What is this thing doing? I don't... Ow. That's a lot of damage. Okay. It's kind of easy for the most part, but the penalty for getting hit is pretty big. Oh my god. Really? Is this I want to be the guy? Um, I think probably we could do better damage-wise than this. So it's sending a lot of fists at us, but they go back as soon as they take damage. Homing bullets would probably be a bit easier. But without arrow spam, it's really not that difficult. Oh, those are not homing, they're just like... No, they are homing. Don't tell me it disappeared, because I got like 10 centimeters away from it. Oh, it's dead. Or is it dead? I don't think I killed it. Ravager. Uh, where is it on the list? No, no, we didn't kill it. It chickened out. Alright, um... Let's go for arrows. And... I don't love this item. I mean, I love that it gives 10% damage and 8 defense, but the brimstone fireballs are just kind of weird and distracting and not effective at all. The Void of Extinction, that is. Alright, let's try and keep it on screen and see what happens. In fact, since we can spend so much time sitting still, I'm gonna actually try to take advantage of the... I know it's really dumb. Try to take advantage of the damage buff of the... Uh, Standing still with the Shroomite armor. Okay, if we keep those on screen, we can... Ow! We can not get surprised by them. Does that hit us? Or does it do something else? Is this it? Is this the boss fight? I mean, it's going to change its pattern. We know this. It's getting faster. I think the fist itself gets faster as it gets lower. Oh my god. Why does bumping into it slowly backwards hurt like that? This is so dumb.
I have very mixed feelings about Calamity overall. Told you this boss sucks? Yeah, it's like... It's mostly just not difficult or fun to fight and then just when you think you're doing fine something suddenly hits you for at half of your hit points. So I guess I just have to know the timing of these stupid wall things. Oh, oh that that bumps me. Oh, that's that's cool. That's intuitive and fair. Okay, I like that. Very, very nice, thank you. First playthrough is rough, yeah. It's too many knowledge bosses, too much arbitrary stuff. A lot of them are good. I mean, especially the... It seems like the later we get into the Calamity playthrough, the more, like, ass pull stuff it does in the boss fights. You really have to learn the patterns? Yeah, I don't like that. It's the, it's the opposite of what I like in a boss fight. Give me, like... The hardest bullet hell thing that theoretically you could beat the first time. They get post, uh, better post ML? I hope so. Alright, let's try this stupid thing again. Fade out so we have more damage. I, I doubt it's even worth the time that it takes to fade out with the Shroomite armor. Um, yeah, Shroomite armor sucks. Like, it's obviously the best you can get for damage and defense for a long time with Ranger. But what I mean by that is... The set bonus just encourages you to do things that'll get you killed. Um, I guess I'm not dodging that. Speaking of which, this boss fight in particular keeps encouraging you to sit still. <laughs> and then, like, tricks you. Kind of. I think I should be using AoE, actually, for this fight. I don't have it on me. I guess I could just use the snowman cannon regardless. I need to stay just high enough so that we don't get insta-gibbed by the stone walls that inexplicably come out of nowhere. He disappeared again, didn't he? I was staying at the same height the whole time, for like 20 seconds. Devourer of Gods is such a hard but fun boss. Devourer of Gods. Let's do um, rocket damage. I think that was looking better for hitting all the sections of him. We'll switch between rocket and bullet. No, rocket and bow. Like, I hate this. Uh, okay, everything that's like unique about Shroomite armor, I hate it. It's just the best damage and defense for range. Uh, for Ranger for quite a long time. The different helmets for different damage types sucks. The standing still to get more damage sucks. So literally everything that's unique about Shroomite armor. <laughs> Maybe I should just go Mage, except like... We've probably got more deeps this way. All right, rockets away. And I'm not even gonna worry about using the other rocket launcher.
What is this stupid thing? Does it die in one hit? Should I just focus it? No? No, it just disappears when it feels like it. Okay. Can I eventually get rid of those walls? I doubt it. That's too close. I should have used the slime mount to get under that. Alright, I think I've got the pattern down. Okay, okay, okay. I think we just used our dodge. We didn't, actually. So these blue things are... I was gonna say basically just there to trap us when we're trying to dodge something else. But no, they sort of aim at you as well, it looks like. Um, is he almost dead or what? I don't like how the boss bar says he's invincible. Okay, now it's on. Yeah, I should have known better. Yeah, I, the boss bar had me expecting something like this. TBH. Also, the way it moves is not cool, man. Don't tell me it fled again. I wasn't even fleeing from it. All I did was fall away from it after a dodge. Oh my god. This is worse than Plantera. Hey, damsel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rockets much better? Yeah, for the first phase. I think we go bullets for the second phase. Homing bullets. Uh, where is it? Bullets. The head is just a big rocket. The core is important. I don't know where the core even was. Um, what summon? Terra Prisma. Actually, a summon that does AoE would be better. Especially for the... F well, mostly just for the first phase. Um, Deadly Sphere? What's the Helix Staff? I forgot about this. Oh, that thing. No, that's a single target. Where's my deadly sphere? Here it is. The core is important for despawning. Oh, I see. So I have to stay near the ground? So it's just, it, it really is like a more obnoxious golem. Okay, gotcha. It, it's like if golem's head could chase you all the way to space. Oh my god. Alright, we're starting with rockets. We've still got only 4,000, actually. Can we fix that? I should make some proper homes as well for some of our new friends. Oh, the hallow's all the way up here. That's okay, I guess. Rocket 3. Gimme, gimme. NK should be enough. Should I fight it at night with the Potion of Omniscience? It might make it a bit easier to see its projectiles. An owl. Um, that might be a good idea. Why is it like that with the stream? Uh, I don't think it's actually helping having all of these torches here. Maybe I should have bought it somewhere else. But this is like the flattest area we have for the most part, actually. 
I don't want to be this far away from it. I actually want to see... Ooh, that was... Not the... Here we go. This is where I want to be. Oh, this is the rocket launcher that we have to aim. I forgot. <laughs> it's fine. Nope, I didn't want to be there. Uh... Just as I was thinking, I need to move before this thing launches itself. Alright, now is our chance to... Never mind. Gently touch a bit of rock and take a ton of damage. Why did that hit me? No, bad. Change direction. Don't get too high up now, there we go. Oh my goodness. The combination of these projectiles is really obnoxious. They all look so easy to dodge, but they distract from each other. Can I have some health back? There we go. And wall goes over there now. Dodge straight into that. Very cool. I have my dodge, that's lucky. What is this? Oh, right. I need to switch now. But no, 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 no. No, let me out. Let me... Where is the core? How am I supposed to stay close to the core while this is happening? It disappeared again, didn't it? I, I couldn't... I knew the core was down here. I wanted to get down, but my path was blocked. I guess I could have used the Rod of Discord. It's sad that we should have to rely on that. And it's we're probably just going to get forced back up into the sky pretty quickly anyway. This boss looks awful without an arena. We've got a flat area anyway. What more could we want with this boss? Pretty sure they're a calamity thing. Don't use circuits? An owl, indeed. Did he answer this? I want to know. How does that entrance work? Oh, I missed it. Sorry. Wait, when did someone ask that? New boss, indeed. Sorry, I'm scrolling. I didn't know I missed that much in chat. Uh, yeah, the sensor is not calamity. It's... Uh... Let me grab some iron. I think it's iron that's part of it. Uh, you need souls of sight from the twins. So one of the mechanical bosses. And wire and iron bar. And a mithril anvil. Um, so that'll sense that there's a player above. And you can get... What is it called? actuators uh, as soon as you've got the mechanic. It's all good, you're focused, fair enough. Um, Alright, let's safely stash that away. Let's grab our summons again. Wait, where did my summons go? I didn't die, did I? We've got our buffs. So why do I not see Deadly Spheres? Okay. Once more with healing. Hmm. 
If I can time it right, I can force the stupid pillars to jump the wrong way, basically. Oh, there's a second one. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, oh, I hate this. Projectiles literally appearing out of the air in front of you. Just, just no. This way. Once this goes to the right, I'm gonna go to the left. And then it's gonna spawn another one. And then rinse repeat. Maybe? Obviously with a little bit of variation with the dodging, because not everything's timed together. Oh, I thought that was gonna miss me. Can, can I get down, please? No? Okay. Alright, once it... once the rock moves... And then we mostly stand still. And then we go right. No skill needed when you've seen it before. And just know what to do. Can't say the same for the second part, most likely. But I wouldn't be surprised if the same rules apply there. But we ran out of room. faster. Alright. Uh, bullets. We need bullets. And it's gonna despawn. Really? Oh my god. Look at how aggressively it, like, tracked me as I was trying to get down past it. I'm dead. Get out of here. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's what I want to see. Yes, please. More of this. Nope. Cool. So slime mount, dropping at full speed, which is like a hundred? It's over a hundred miles per hour. Let's just confirm this real quick. Dropping at full speed with the slime mount, 102 miles per hour. Um, it just arbitrarily followed and caught up um, when it didn't want to let me go down. And this while it punishes us for flying too high by just cancelling the entire boss fight. Greetings, Arenalist Masters. Alceres, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No one would said. No one said it would be easy. It doesn't have to be easy to not be obnoxious. Apart from the final phase, that you just have to learn that he goes one, two, and then three dashes. Uh, Duke Fishron isn't easy, but he doesn't pull any of this crap. Moon Lord doesn't do anything like this either, except for, you know, if you teleport away from him, he'll teleport to follow you, but it's not like an instantaneous dash. The screen goes white and he's, and then he's there. You've got like a second. No one thinks the Moon Lord is a super easy fight. There's a lot that's not exactly fair about the Moon Lord, but what he doesn't do is just arbitrarily keep up with you at specific times, no matter how fast you're moving. And 
and while blocking you from staying close to the boss that will despawn if you get far from the boss. Like, what? Those knives are so cool. Yeah, this is, uh, very weirdly, Calamity nerfs the coolest thing that you get from uh, Empress of Light so much that it may as well be deleted, but I got a mod to fix it. Um, but for some reason they made the hardest, literally the hardest item to get in vanilla. Um, Normally you have to fight Empress of Light during the day, which she'll one-shot you. You have to fight her through the daytime, through the entire fight, so it's not like you can time it so that she dies at 4.31am. Um, if you beat her while she's in kill you in one hit mode, she'll drop this every time. Uh, but for some reason Calamity gave me this for killing her at night. Um, I guess it's just not that powerful, like, it, it's not as powerful compared to Calamity summons, which are very, very, very strong. Um, but yeah, they, they gave this away for free, and they deleted Soaring Insignia for some reason. What, Companion Cube? Companion Cube's just expensive, and you need a bit of luck for it to show up in the... Uh, what is it called? The Traveling Merchant's Inventory. I know I'm teasing. Yeah, I figured. Oh god, go away. And up and over. And over before that blue thing shoots. Yeah, this is... Just like I was saying about Empress of Light, this is less of a... This is less of a battle, and less of me having to be skillful, and it's more like a song that I've rehearsed. For this phase, anyway. I'm sure the second phase is going to be like that, if and when I can figure it out. Okay, I can't find a way back down on the right. Because I didn't get the, uh, the verse exactly right. Are we back to... Where's my mouse cursor? There it is. Are we back to... on track? Are we back on the rails of this boss fight? It makes it look so easy as well, this part, because it mostly is. Okay, bullets. Yeah, this this part, it's not letting me down. If I had tried... If I had tried to use the slime mount to get... Ah, oh, and it's despawned again. In those first, like, seven seconds or so... 
where I wanted to get back down to where the core is so it doesn't despawn. If I had tried using the slime mount, I would have just, like, it would have rushed down to meet me and I would have bounced off it again. So I guess I have to, like, dodge around in the sky for, like, 7 to 10 seconds and then wait till it goes up a bit, showing that I am now allowed to go back down. And then try and rush past all of the random projectiles in the sky, just to get close enough to the core of the boss so that it doesn't rage quit. Can't wait for Companion Cube, indeed. Can't go far, can you? No, it's like... I don't... It, the distance isn't worse than Plantera, but... Plantera isn't like... Playing keep away from itself. Whoops. Did I lose my dodge? I did. What weapon do I have that would go. Oh, come off it. Jesus Christ. What weapon do I have that would go past those? I could use Mage, that's probably better. I don't think I have anything that'll pierce through all that as a Ranger. That's like a good DPS right now. I could use different bullets. But bullets are weaker than... Are way weaker than rockets for the first phase. Let's put our ranged gear away for now. Um, I guess I'll put it here. Extra helmets in the accessory chest. Um, and then Spectre armor. Not sure this boss is worth it. Tried a few times when I was supposed to, gave up and then tried again post Moon Lord and still had issues. Wow. I'm so glad Boss Log is here to guide us as to the correct order to be fighting these things. We'll give it a couple of tries as Mage and if, if it's still that much of a problem we'll move on. This weapon is really weird. Um, it's a quote-unquote upgrade from the Rainbow Rod, but it's definitely not as good for, like, ease of use. I guess if you're spelunking, it's really good. So, like, it doesn't directly do any damage. And you draw a shape with it, like a circle, and everything inside the circle, uh, the shape that you draw, takes damage. I guess it's not working with the target dummies. Can we find a slime or something? Into the corruption. Hello? Where's an enemy when you need one? There we go. Yeah, look at that. That's so weird. You don't have long to do it either. Like, obviously, if you use this optimally, it can do a lot, but... And it'll hit things through the walls, so... I would say it's really, really good for spelunking, but, like, just late into... Calamity? You've got summons that just shoot everything through the walls anyway. That's fun, yeah. I still like the Rainbow Rod better. Um, even though I don't use it that much at this point. A controllable homing missile that hits things three times. Very cool. And it works underwater and you can't accidentally smash it into a wall if you're holding the button. Anyway, let's get our mage gear back. Um, 
where did I put it? Bubble gun, razor blade, laser machine gun. Seems good. We'll be using razor blade for the first part and laser machine gun for the second part, I think. And then we need some mage gear specifically. It's going to give us more DPS. Uh, so 19% damage, 19% damage, and mana consumption efficiency. We need Luminite Bars to upgrade this thing. I think this is upgradable as well. Evil Water, Ashes of Calamity. Wait, did I make this already? Sigil of Calamitous. 15% magic damage, 10% decreased mana usage, plus 100 mana, and increases pickup range. I, I I imagine I would have made that, but I don't see it here. What are we missing? Evil water. I don't remember making that. Oh, scoria bar. Do we have those? I don't know if we have those. Scoria ore. Yes, we do. How many bars do we need? I could have sworn I made one of these. But it should be in that chest, if so. Alright, let's try it. We need how many? Two scoria bars. And we make that... At the forge with five of these. We've got enough. It did say Adamantite Forge, didn't it? Oh, it's over here. Okay, two Scoria Bars. Celestial Emblem. Uh, ten Evil Water. Ten Ashes of Calamity. I'm pretty sure I have those. Ashes of Calamity? Uh, and whatever this is. Core of Chaos, I think, was in there. So we've got everything except for the evil water. Can I make a spare so- whoa. Uh, a spare celestial emblem, since this one's menacing. How do we make it? Celestial Magnet plus Sorcerer Emblem. I've got spare Sorcerer Emblems. And... I believe I've got spare Celestial Magnets, so I can make them. Five stars plus a Treasure Magnet. That's nice and easy. Do we need an Anvil? Yes, we do. And then... And then what? Tinkerer's Workshop. Celestial Emblem. And last but not least, Mithril Anvil again. We're missing something. Oh, the Ten Evil Water. How do we make those? Corrupt Seeds, Bottled Water, Ebon, ebon Sand Block. Do I have that? We can get some. Crimson Sand or Ebon Sand. I don't think I do have it. But we've got a Corrupt Desert right here. It was literally like one sand, right? One sand, ten bottled water, one Corrupt Seeds to make ten of these. Okay, so one corrupt seeds, one sand. That's too far. Alright. As is light. I was gonna say we're not going far enough, but I should just do it anyway. 
Uh, I kind of want to not, like, mess up the landscape, if that makes sense. Just give me this piece of sand. That's ebon stone. God damn it. How about this one? And we need crop seeds, which the dryad sells when she's in a graveyard biome. Um, I think I hoarded a bunch of them. Fire blossom seeds, deathweed seeds, corrupt seeds. There we go. All right. Um, Eppenstone, get out of my inventory. These two class agnostic accessories can go in here. Give me those seeds. And we need 10 bottled water. And probably a workbench. Or what what do we need here? Nothing? Ebon sand? Oh, it's in my void bag. Here it is. Unholy water. Fantastic. Oh, it's a material. Uh, I mean, obviously it's a material. <laughs> this is why we're making it. It also makes desecrated water. Which is a rogue weapon. That you can make relatively early. Very early in hard mode. Just as soon as you get adamantite. Alright. Um, is it... Finally. Sigil of Calamitous. And we can eventually upgrade that. For even more... Mana, Critical Strike, that's it actually, but you could stack it with this as well. Okay. I wonder if the Mana Star Pickup range stacks. It would actually be bad if it did. Because sometimes you want to save them until your mana is a bit lower. Okay, I guess we will put that here, or I should replace it with, I, I should replace the mana cloak with it, that's gonna, no, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't automatically consume mana potions for us, huh, alright, I'll hold on to this then. Put this here. But we could have even more damages if I just manually consume my mana potions. And we get more mana. 360, that's insane. Uh, we get more mana and... 10% decreased mana usage. That's really good. Alright. I'll try manually consuming mana pots for now. Let's put this stuff away. And this as well. Um, probably not a rocket launcher either. Should I have in slot 5? Something piercing? This is why I went mage. Uh, we'll probably use the razor blade typhoon. But what's the best thing I have that pierces through everything? Okay. We're gonna try and use the rainbow gun. It should actually be pretty good against this boss. Uh, I never did pick up the guide to Rid of companionship? Give it back. Okay. Take 1000. 
Let's put the ammo away for now, since we're not using it. Although, it probably wouldn't hurt to keep some here. Get rainbow. That rainbow actually lasts a really long time. Oh, come off it. I can go a really long time before having to consume a mana potion. Get a oh crap, really? Okay. Gently touch the rock thing as it's already behind us and take maximum damage. Makes sense. Mage looks so cool. Yeah, mage is pretty cool. Mage has some really nice advantages as well, like over Ranger, for example. It's still squishy DPS, but like Homing missiles don't cost anything. Um, there's only one, like, ammo resource, which you can auto-consume. Um, it's quite good. That rainbow looks like strats, yeah. It's not that much DPS at this stage, but... Okay, yeah, it's pretty good still. Actually, let's time it. How long does this last? We'll start at 450. Okay, I wasn't actually expecting 30 seconds out of it, but that's what we got. Pretty good. Let's lure it back into the rainbow so I don't have to fire it again. Oh crap. Stupid double tap dodge input. And back this way. I like how the. Oh, come on. I like how the Razor Blade Typhoon just ignores the big rocks. Oh, Jesus Christ. I actually thought the rope ladder was another stupid boulder spawning directly in front of me. Also, one of those homing things chased me all the way to space. Alright, let's heal up. Gotta get back into that exact rehearsed groove of standing still for a specific amount of time and then waiting for the slow projectile and then jumping over the boss at an exact rehearsed moment. And I gotta work manual mana consumption into it as well. Uh, that's 
really obnoxious. Off-screen projectile just happened to be timed so that when I dodged one thing I hit the other. Being able to zoom out further... I think someone may have mentioned this. Um, I think there's probably a mod that lets you zoom out further than this. And they sort of considered it like mandatory, almost, for Calamity. And I can definitely see what they mean. What the actual... Oh, come on. Now, now we've gone off time with the music. Everything's falling apart. Okay, let's restart. Does this actually regen us? Yeah, it does. While moving, you regenerate health as if standing still. No, it doesn't help us regen. It's only for when we're fishing. The camper. Right. In fact... We stand still so often with this boss, I almost think the shiny stone makes sense. But no. Um, we're just gonna... Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're just gonna get to the point where we need to fly around and then we have to swap an accessory. Oh good, projectiles from off screen, I love that, thank you. Please, uh, may I have another? Oh good, good, yes, perfect, thank you. Restart. We'll give it like two more tries and then just do a nice easy Moon Lord run. Now you can see why I hate this thing? Yeah, definitely. to get rid of those buffs so that I can summon any others. I missed with the rainbow, it's fine. Like, this, this is one of those bosses that, objectively, it would be a lot easier if I could simply zoom out further. Just because those blue arcs um, are not going to sneak up on me while I'm dodging the other thing. Oh, that's nice. this boss anymore. I don't know how you stay so calm. I'm not that calm. I can tell you're frustrated, but I think it would be, I would be much more so. Yeah. I mean, we just did like 17 attempts at Empress of Light last week. Empress is a mixture of unfair and also difficult. Um, like, you you have to learn the pattern exactly, but also once you learn the pattern, you still have to be good. 
Um, alright, let's go do... Probably one of the easiest boss fights in the game, Asterisk. I actually was really surprised. Um, so, if we play Ranger or Mage, to kill this boss is pretty easy. And I thought it would be super easy to do with a tanky melee build as well. But because I didn't have the DPS to shut down his attacks, um, it turned out to be a lot harder than I thought. Because it, it took a lot longer and the tankiness didn't really help. The higher the difficulty you play, the less being tanky helps anything. Ow, that actually hit me. This guy will never just disappear if you fly away from him. Isn't that nice? Look at that, you can't say that this boss is way easier or harder depending on if you can fly. What a what a concept. Ouch, I shouldn't have stood still like that. I skip Empress most playthroughs. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make playing the game without boss fight arenas just my standard, so I'm trying to learn to kill Empress consistently, preferably with gear that we can get relatively early. Ow. I'm surprised how weak his attacks are. I feel like, especially after the last boss, I feel like I should be getting punished more for my mistakes. Yeah, the sheer amount of damage from that boss is pretty over the top as well. I... I don't think I like how, um... Like, Calamity gives you all this extra defense and damage reduction if you have warding. Plus three defense and plus... Well, it's always plus one percent damage reduction if you have warding. Um, but you also... We also have like three more defense per item uh, than we would if this was vanilla for accessories. But like... If you're just gonna make your bosses hit harder... What's the point of this? It just kind of makes the vanilla bosses feel weaker, for the most part. But then again, uh, certain bosses, I can't overemphasize how getting tanky does not help. It does not get you very far. Alright, so we have an ancient manipula- did I miss the... the goodie bag? Or, he doesn't drop a goodie bag, does he? The cultist. We got the lunatic cultist relic, which boss log says should go... two after Duke Fishron. Wait, the implication is he's harder than Duke Fishron? Lol. Also, this, uh... This aesthetic is not really working for the Spectra set. That looks cool and all, but I think I would rather go with... I really like the Rune Wizard stuff if we're playing Mage. And I think it was Purple Dye that I like to combine it with. What color was that? Reflective Obsidian Dye. That's different. Let's go with that.
dies go in here. I guess the Parker can go in here as well. Stack these away. Put this away forever. Those chandeliers are so pretty. Yeah, right? They're um, glass chandeliers. If you make a glass kiln, you can make these. Alright, so it's time for pillars. The solar pillar, unless Calamity changes something, uh, the solar pillar is going to be the most obnoxious one. Uh, vortex and Stardust pillars are basically just fair, so like, pretty easy by comparison. And Nebula pillar is super dangerous just because of one enemy in particular. Um, that we gotta watch out for. So we're basically just gonna dip in and out of fighting the, uh... Wait, what? I... I'm getting nebula... I'm getting neb nebula fragments. Okay, that's nice. Normally you have to kill the pillar to get these. Does that mean this is farmable? Is that one of those nice Calamity Mercies that I love so much? Whereby... Uh, they make it easier to summon a boss? That's so good. I absolutely love the giant stack sizes, a lot of the weapons the mercies for resupplying potions, um, being able to craft things that were rare, uh, what else? There was something else, whoops. There's a lot that I love about Calamity, and a few things I find extremely obnoxious. Deleting Soaring Insignia, some of the boss fights, most of the boss fights at the moment, like for where we're up to. I should probably come back with more health. There's one... am I, am I mixing up... is it a different pillar? It is the Nebula Pillar, right, that has that one enemy that teleports behind you and shoots you for like a million damage. You need like 3k or something to be sure? 3k? Do you mean the Nebula Fragments? We're gonna farm the hell out of these. I'm, I'm gonna get like all the stuff that I can from Fragments before we before we kill the, uh, the pillar. So how many do I need for a mage set? Oh, we need Lumi- Oh, I forgot, yeah, you do need Luminite bars for the mage set, but the weapons only require fragments. 18 for Nebula Arcanum, I don't actually like it that much. Nebula Blaze. I have to admit, um... The mage weapons that you get from the fragments are really not that great. I mean... This is better for spamming homing missiles for DPS, but... It's so inaccurate, it doesn't, like, feel good to use. We could get it right now, actually. Let's give it a try. We'll compare it. Ancient Manipulator... Nebula Blaze... Mystic. That's not the best one we can get, is it? Mythical. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna replace the Rainbow Rod with that. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good spell, I just don't like the feel of it. If that makes sense. And I think I'll stick with the bubble gun for the short range stuff. Let's put the rainbow rod right away. 
What's this? Meld blob. Meld construct. Uh, we combine it with stardust. Give me some stardust. Where is stardust? There we go. How do we... Ancient manipulator. Where's my dash? Oh, there it is. Wait, what? Oh, we need more? We need six of them. Okay, then. And every single pillar enemy drops them. Milky Way Weaver drops... How did I get that text just now? By clicking it. Oh, so I can refer to this. Oh, that would have been good to know sooner. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's put it in the hard mode calamity chest. Um, I should make a fancy chest for the ancient manipulator stuff. Where's our Martian plate? Whatever it's called. Snow block. Martian conduit plate, uh, plating. We can make chests with this. I just need iron. I like to make these for special chests because you never find them naturally. And they really stand out. Okay. Um, so I'll put nebula fragments and stuff in here. And let's give our new toy a whirl. But first, I think, whoops. I think Terra Prisma would be the best summon for what we're going into. Hey dude, how goes the playthrough? Not bad. Decipher, good to see you guys. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why did I have a portal up there? Oh, I think I remember. Alright. And let's get the rest of these fragments. Oh, there it is. That's the enemy I was talking about. That one enemy makes this... Uh, this pillar extremely dangerous. Not to mention unfair. But we're killing it super fast. See how it teleports? It likes to teleport directly behind you and shoot you in the back. Just instantly. Am I not using buffs? There we go. I think the Terra Prisma is... It doesn't suppress... Yeah, no, no, no. There it is. There it is. It doesn't suppress it from attacking. We were just killing it super fast. Regen real quick. And back we go. Dodge. Oh, it's already attackable. Do I want to kill it yet? How many nebula fragments do we want and or need? Well, I'm gonna want a stash of them. 
to kill the Moon Lord, like to, to attempt the Moon Lord a number of times instead of having to do the pillars every single time. We also need them to make uh, the best health potions available to us quite soon. Also, I just realized... Oh crap, oh crap. Um, doesn't this mean... We can convert these at a ratio of 3 to 1. Oh, we need, ev uh, we need all three other types, so it's not like we could farm just one of them. We can make some cool dye. Uh, it's purplish. I like purple for mage. Nebula dye. We need 30. Alright, let's do that first. What is that? Oh, melt blood. They fall to the ground. Making them a bit harder to pick up. We need, like, six to make one of those intermediate products, right? Intermediate products. We should get some prod modules. Ouch. Nope. Nope. I feel like the spawn rate here is less than I'm used to. Also, I don't suppose calming potions work in these places, do they? I want to try it. Prod that shit, right? I guess the, uh, what is it called? The alchemy table is kind of like a prod module, even if it's random chance. Uh, what was I going to do? I wanted to try out Zen Potion. Vastly decreases enemy spawn rate. Uh, and I could try stacking it with a Calming Potion. I don't know if that works. Who sells a Calming Potion? Water Walking. You don't sell potions, do you? Um, climbing potion. There we go. All right. If that's not enough, I mean, we could put a peace candle down as well. I feel like that's a little excessive. Uh, Zen potion plus calming potion. That should be more than enough to see a difference. I mean, it's not going to be perfectly scientific unless we literally like record for 10 minutes and compare the numbers, but I want to say it looks like the calming potion is working. Potions. I, I want to say it really looks like they're working. Give me that strange plant. Yeah, this, uh... This doesn't feel quite as threatening, does it? I might have to try this in vanilla. See if a calming potion makes the uh, pillars easier. Ow. Get out of here. Oh, the one enemy that could kill us really quick is here. Oh god. Oh no. Alright, how many fragments do we have? 25. Let's have a look. Where's the guide? Oh, they're doing the thing again. Where they just stand there. Both of them. I wanted to use the guide because the UI is a bit nicer sometimes. Um, I need five more if I want... No, we're one off. Let's 
625 hit points. There we go. Give me your one fragment. You didn't drop one. How dare you. There we go. All neb uh, nebula fragments. Go to the fancy die. Do I need an ancient manipulator for this? No. We probably need, like, bottled water as well or something. Yeah, bottled water. And a dive at. I don't know why dyes are the one thing that you can't swap with the same inputs. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. What I don't like is the shield. Let's put it away. I haven't been using it in forever. Okay. Um, strange plant? Reflective metal dye, I think I already had. No, nope, apparently not. It's cool, but it's not what I'm going for right now. Okay. I think for the wings, I'll just go purple dye. Yeah, that works. Alright. Brain Suckler Banner. Get in the chest. And... Dyes can go in here. Meld Blobs. Plus Stardust. Stardust. Stardust? Where is it? There it is. I think we need the Ancient Manipulator. And what does this do? It makes some very black things. Rainbow Gun plus Pearlwood Bow makes Cosmic Rainbow. Launches a barrage of rainbows. Okay, yes please. We need Core of Calamity and 5 Life Alloy. I feel like I'm supposed to have Life Alloy by now. Um, how do I... It's normally double click to see how we make it, right? No, double, double click to see... Okay, we click it up here to see how to make it. We sneeze. Uh, double click. Bryonic bar is the thing we don't know how to get. I don't know where to get Scoria stuff either, but we have some. Cryonic bar. Five cryonic ore. Cryo slime. Okay. So we have to go to the underground old biome. What was the other thing that I didn't know how to figure out before? Uh, I, we get perennial bars everywhere. Scoria bar. Uh, chaotic puffer, devil fish, and devil fish. Are those in the abyss, or was it on the surface up here? Whatever. Um, let's... Let's get some more fragments. How do you sort your materials? I know you sort gear according to class, but what about material only things? Um, do you mean like which chests I put them in and stuff? Um, I've basically got like a chest for pre-hard mode vanilla materials and a chest for hard mode vanilla materials. And then different for Calamity um, is where I'm keeping those.
definitely make more chests than you think you need. I would probably go back to having a stack of three chests high uh, next time with these rooms. And I'd like to make sure that I always have room for basically a sign underneath them. So that like all of these are supposed to be, well, some of these at least are sp supposed to be attack items, defense items, movement. You just need wood and a sawmill to make those things, to put items on the wall. I've been stealing all the ores, I've, all the ones I find, indeed. Uh, I think we'll put meld construction, meld construct. Oh, that was the product of these two, wasn't it? I'll just put it up here. And... Okay, total, we need 35, 45 to make a set, an armor set. Um, I don't really see the point of making the drill or pickaxe, to be honest. Oh, the Yuli Bloom Ore. Okay, we need, we need that. So what were we up to? 45? Yeah, 45. Uh... 57. We need a bunch of greater healing potions. So call it 60 or 70. I don't care about this weapon. We could make wings. We need luminite bars for that. It's also probably gonna... Light time 180, that's the same. We lose the water quick, uh, quick travel. 5% increased mana usage, or decreased mana usage, 20 mana, 5 crit, while using nebula armor. That's not that much, actually. And we lose speed. Damn, fish run, fish run wings are really hard to beat. I love that Calamity makes the wings all slightly different, but I just haven't found something to make me take off the fish run wings. Uh, Luna Hook. Okay. I think... Luna Eye. Not oh, Lun Lunic Eye. I don't remember finding that. I think we want at least a hundred nebula fragments. Permanently increases maximum mana by 50? Oh my lord. And what's this? A shard of the cosmos. And we need 20 of each to summon a moon lord. Oh, that goes into a lot. Wow, we're going to be farming these for a while. Also, I kind of wasted most of my low spawn rate potion. But the experiment was a success. We're definitely going to use this for the more dangerous um, pillars for low spawn rate. In fact, well, no. I would need all three of the other types to convert them. I was going to say we could farm other pillars for these fragments, but that's a bit... that's going a bit far. Alright, let's just finish this off. We can always do it again. And what was that? Your mind goes numb. How many did we get here? A few. Okay, that's good. Let's make ourselves... Oh. We need to defeat Moon Lord just for the pickaxe, even. Uh, alright. I thought Luna Hook was a drop from the Moon Lord. I guess I misremembered. 62 of those. 
Uh, let's do the second most dangerous um, pillar while we've still got some of our Zen Potion left. As soon as it runs out, I'll peace out and get another one. I farmed 1k each, but I only used rogue weapons. If you craft mage and range, I think you're going to need more. Okay. The ranger set... Um... The ranger set is so much better than shroomite armor. Like, it's actually really nice. So there's one particular enemy I'm looking for here that I'm scared of, that I'm wary of. We have to be ready to fly upward really, really quickly and dash as soon as we see it. Unless Calamity removed it? I'm surprised I haven't seen one yet. Unless we get through the entire thing without seeing one, I'm going to assume that's not the case. You know, the spawn rate is so low that I can actually use the passive regen for mana. With this, uh... Zen potion. I think they actually removed it. I'm not seeing a single... Brawlipede. I don't mind staying on the ground now. I mean, maybe if we had a lot more enemies spawning, I would mind staying on the ground. I'm really curious to see how much easier this is going to be in vanilla if we use a calming potion. And we could use a peace candle as well if we really want to up the cheese a little bit, which I think is perfectly reasonable, considering how obnoxious this part is in vanilla. Just wait? Oh no. What is... Why did it go dark just now? It did just go dark, didn't it? That's not my imagination. Oh, we've got a water candle here. That's not helping. If we want a low spawn rate. Well? Oh, there's a poor enemy stuck down there. Okay, 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 okay. Jesus. Yeah, this is why... This is why you want to be in the air with these enemies. I think our Zen Potion ran out. And this is the default spawn rate for enemies in the pillar areas. It just never ends. Okay, there it is. Is it because I have the Zen potion on? Surely not. It, maybe it was. A Zen Potion can't prevent specific enemies from spawning, can it? Or maybe it's the health of the pillar? Yeah, maybe it's the hit points of the pillar, or the sh pillar shield. Oh, it's vulnerable now. Let's get the laser machine gun out. 
Uh oh. There we go. And I messed up the DPS because I didn't potion fast enough. Die! Oh my god. I just wanna la- No! No! Please! I just wanna laser machine gun the pillar. Is that so much to ask? I guess it is. Alright, fine. We'll use the homing missiles. So if it- if, if you don't happen to know the, uh, it's only the bit at the very back of these worms that can be hit, and it's pretty precise. So you don't want to be using anything but homing missiles against them. Alright, that was a lot easier than usual. Mostly because we discovered the magic of... Reducing the enemy spawn rate, even though it's pillars. Those worms are savage if you're not ready to deal with specific hitboxes, yeah. So if you stay on the ground, they won't attack you, but as soon as you go high enough to, like, dodge an attack on the ground, which you absolutely need to do, they come after you. But if you go low enough again, they stop. In fact, if you were really... If you wanted to be a specific kind of difficult cheesy, sort of, you could probably put, um, you could probably use the ice rod to put blocks under your feet really quickly to prevent, um, to prevent them from chasing you. They just float when you're on the ground, you can't fly, that's all. Yeah, you can't fly and the enemies on the ground are ridiculous at attacking you, um, unless you're in the air. Alright, so we got our solar fragments. We can make Daybreak, which is quite good, and Solar Eruption, which is a extremely powerful and good weapon, but kind of awkward. Um, and I'm not that interested for now in spending those solar fragments. We'll just chuck this into the melee stuff. Alright, so that's the two most obnoxious pillars down. The other two are really quite reasonable. Um, Vortex can kill you pretty fast all of a sudden if you're not careful, but it's pretty reasonable, really. Stardust Pillar? Um, I think there's like one enemy that's pretty scary there, but you can really, really cheese it pretty easily. by deliberately encouraging a certain enemy type to reproduce because there's only going to be so many enemies on the screen. Give me those fragments. Alright. Um... I think we'll stick with the pris uh, Terra Prismas. And we'll do... We'll probably do the summon next. It, I don't know, is the dragon going to be stronger than Terra Prisma? I don't think so. Let's do the ranged one first. So that we've got time to make the armor before the uh, before the world ends. How far do we have to go here? The rainbow trail on the swords is kind of neat. All right, in we go. Just for fun, let's use the laser machine gun. Oh, I forgot. Wait, this isn't the ranged one. Oh, I'm... I'm... That, uh, actually. 
Alright, fine, we'll kill a handful of these and just leave. Um... Where am I going? Wait, where is the pillar? Stardust pillar? Oh, it's just to the left of the desert. Australian? Yes, indeed. I am reality. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yes, yes. Let's use the... Uh laser machine gun because there's not enough blue on this screen. New Zealand? No, no, not New Zealand. Oh yeah, I forgot. Some of these enemies get more dangerous if you leave them up. Do we still have a calming potion or something? It feels like we don't have that many enemies here. In fact, I'm going to be really cheeky. We're going to go Zerg Potion. Zerg Potion and Battle Potion. What's the worst that could happen? It just means we're getting more value out of the laser machine gun. It's fine. Uh oh. Um, yeah, I don't think... Oh, I've run out of potions. I've run out of go-home potions. That's suboptimal. I'll use Typhoon because... I don't have to aim, and more importantly, we don't... The DPS hose doesn't stop completely if we run out of mana. Okay, this is really weird. Don't we have... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, don't we have some enemy spawn buffs right now? This actually just looks normal. For the pillars. So it seems like the pillars crank up the spawn rate to maximum, but calming potions do have an effect. Let's just double check. We have Zerg and we have Battle Potion. Oh, are they all spawning on the ground and I'm flying away from them? That might have something to do with it. Those guys shotgun you, they can only tire horizontally. For some reason. This is going rather fast. Yeah, this is by far one of the easier pillars, because it's just... It doesn't pull any nonsense. It also helps if you have Soaring Insignia. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. There we go. Give to me all of the Vortex Fragments, please. In fact, let me just get the Magnet equipped. Why are there more of them? The pillar is dead. Go away. Ow. Oh my goodness. Did we finally get them all? Ow. What was that? I didn't even see it. I was looking at chat. Oh, that's a bunny. Oh, 
Oh, the spawn rate. Yeah, the spawn potions are working. So that just really goes to show how high the spawn rate is normally. Like, it's basically up to maximum. Uh, with the pillars. By default. Alright. Let's get ourselves a nice gun. Let's also refresh our go-home potions. What? That's a grav potion, actually. There we go. That's... that's a lot of duck. Four ducks. Alright. We've got... One more pillar to hit. Phantasm? More like fantastic. And Vortex Beater is also quite good. Let's upgrade them. I'll probably... I don't know, actually. I was gonna say I'll probably use Mage to kill Moon Lord, but we could use homing bullets if we have um, if we have Ranger. We do have Razor Blade Typhoon. It's probably good enough. What is with this spawn rate? This looks like uh, this looks like when we mess around with um, journey mode. Look at all those penguins. Are they fleeing the slime? I think they were. They were fleeing the slime. Okay. Penguins? Yeah, penguins. Penguins with a zerg potion. <laughs> Spawning rather rapidly. Alright, let's put this away. Nimbus Cloud. I've killed 50 Nimbus, uh, angry Nimbuses. Alright, I think... Alright, I'm gonna take a short break. We'll consider if we're gonna switch to Ranger for the Moon Lord or not. Um, we'll do some words on stream. That'll start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Oh. Oh, we're running out of time here. Uh oh. Uh, too late, I guess. Rip. I think there's a much higher ratio of people who do, who make attempts for words on stream when we're playing Factorio and Oni. Anyway, let's uh, let's continue, shall we? Cool band name. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome Helix as well, or Hel Helix. Um, I could try just to just to do something different. I could try some really tanky. I'm actually curious. Okay, when when we played the first Arenalus run, um, that was expert mode, and tank was surprisingly viable in expert mode. I played a tanky character, and it was like by far the easiest way to beat the Moon Lord. All good. Hope you're doing well. Also, thank you. Um, oh, we could make die with this as well. Vortex die. That might look kind of cool. Let's put that aside for now. Oh, oh, oh. We can upgrade the tactical shotgun. We need luminite bars for this. We can upgrade the rocket launchers. Hell yes. What's this? Laser machine gun, nanites, and vortex fragments. Makes nano purge. It's also a magic weapon. I think we've only got one laser machine gun, and I love it, and I don't want to, like, lose it. I mean, okay, we just have to farm up another one, and then it's six re... No, we do have a spare. Oh, yes, please. Okay, laser machine gun. Nanites and Vortex Fragment. Let's get some Nanites. Look at the uses for Vortex Fragments? Hell yes. Uh, I'm surprised to find range... Uh, major... Major? Range? No, Major. No. Major would be a cool... I, I guess you could call Major the class of the hybrid armor that is the crystal assassin gear. Although, I'm pretty sure the damage type is just agnostic. You get reduced mana usage, reduced ammo usage, but you can actually use any class with this. I wish there was more hy uh, hybrid or class agnostic gear in the game. Anyway, we've got the laser machine gun, 100 nanites, and I'm pretty sure having this favorited will mean it doesn't get used for crafting, or even if it's in the hotbar, but I want to be absolutely sure. So let's put that here for now. And I think it was Ancient Manipulator? No? Yes? Nano Purge. Fires a barrage of nano lasers. It's also still a material. There's actually two things that laser machine gun goes into. Um, where was it that I needed to go? I still don't know where I need to go to get scoria bars. It's probably downstairs. It's probably here, actually. The, uh... The different underworld biome. Now that I think of it. Alright, let's see what this weapon looks like. It does do the wind-up thing. Just like the laser machine gun. It does it faster. And it's more damage even before we re-roll it. Uh, looks like it's going to be a lot more DPS. And for some reason it makes drum noises as well. Uh, 
How much money do we have? Only 12 plat. That's getting kind of low considering how much that costs to reroll. Alright, let's DPS compare these things. In fact, I don't have um, auto mana consumption right now, so we can compare the mana efficiency as what it costs the same. Three mana per shot. Alright, so let's do a whole 380 mana. Oh, it's not going to tell us the total damage. What am I thinking? Let's just try and get a feel for DPS with this. Peaked over 3700. Okay, so that's pessimistically like 3500 DPS when it gets going. Nano Purge? That's... that's higher. It's also a lot more accurate, it looks like. Also, I forgot I didn't have mage potions. So I was wasting ammo reservation potions and not doing as much damage as I could have been. Yeah, that is a bit more accurate, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, that's a lot more accurate. Nice. So it's just a straight upgrade of the laser machine gun. That's cool. That's very cool, actually. What else can we do with Vortex Fragments? Uh, we've got Phantasm, Vortex Beta... Did you know with Recipe Browser you can favorite recipes by Alt-Left-Click? Indeed. Oh, and it shows you the ingredients up there. Alt left click. Uh, how do I unfavorite like this? That's extremely handy to say the least. So I can close the display for the favorites. Um, what was the shortcut key for it? Backspace or something? Here it is. Just under backspace is where I put it. Show when inventory? Always show, show when inventory. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot, thank you. Terex, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I not have a Nimbus rod? Did we make Miasma before? Maybe. Alright, uh, what else are we doing with the Vortex? I forgot the rocket launchers and the ta uh, tactical shotgun. I'm a little bit excited about this. Oh no! Am I going to run out of Vortex Fragments? I should have farmed them. Oh no. Okay, conference call only needs seven. Um, we need Luminite Bars for this one anyway. This requires 20. We've got 27. Are you serious? We've got exactly enough to upgrade these two guns. That I've been looking forward to. That's cool. Uh, we could also upgrade the Sniper Rifle. Now I'm a little disappointed. Because this fires a homing mushroom. That actually makes the sniper rifle thing a lot more attractive. Firestorm cannon makes... How do we get a firestorm cannon? We can just make it pretty easily, actually. Flare gun, boomstick, gold, and pearl shard. Pearl shard comes from the desert scourge. Um, yeah, I should have farmed more fragments. We're going to have to do this again as soon as possible. 
Although the Spectral Storm at first glance looks like it's already redundant, especially since we have Elf Melter, but it's also a material. Okay. Um, let's make the upgraded rocket launcher thing. Where's the spare snowman cannon? I do have a spare snowman cannon, right? Right. Rocket launcher. Please tell me I have it. I, I know I got two snowman cannons. I think. I hope. Pretty please. I don't want to have to use my unreal snowman cannon. Especially considering that the upgrade doesn't look like it uses homing missiles. So many upgrade parts. Um, I don't see it here. I guess we could do the Frost Moon until another one drops, but it was a hell of a... It was an ordeal to get it to drop in the first place. I thought I put all three of the rocket launcher types that we need to upgrade to this thing together. Grenade launcher, rocket launcher, snowman cannon. Rocket launcher... And three random ammo reservation potions. Where am I keeping all of the rest of these? Oops. Not this chest, that's for sure. Also, this thing gets upgraded at some point. We need luminite bars. Tactical shotgun. Oh no. I can't believe I can't find it. Is it in the safe or something? I'm sure I put those three weapons together somewhere. For posterity. I don't even know where the grenade launcher is and... I picked up an extra grenade launcher today when we killed Plantera. Oh, here it is. But I could have sworn I quick stacked it? I did. They're right here. Two grenade launchers. Uh, I don't want to use up a snowman cannon for this. Also, the chain gun? Why do I have two unreal chain guns? Whoops. Uh, that needs Luminite Bars to upgrade anyway. Mm, Alright, fine. Let's get another Snowman Cannon. But first... Where's our tactical... Shotgun? And I'll grab this Rocket Launcher. Put it over here. Grenade Launcher. Okay, Tactical Shotgun plus Vortex Fragments gives us Conference Call. 41 range damage doesn't sound like a lot, but it's going to have multi-shot. And we can upgrade it into Disseminator as soon as we do the Moon Lord. At everyone. Okay. Don't tell me it's going to spit out, like, multiple homing bullets or something. Unreal conference call. Let's see what kind of DPS we get out of this. I won't bother changing from mage just yet. That looks terrible for something that requires vortex fragments. 
Uh, it's very, it's a very tight spread though. No, it's not that tight. Seems like Moonlord gonna get it soon. Yes, indeed. I'm shockingly disappointed by this. I, I shouldn't have even upgraded it to Unreal. Where's the tactical shotgun? I know I've got an Unreal one. Here it is. So, without changing our gear, this DPS peaks over 700. 600 or so is like... 5 to 600 seems to be the most common. Unreal. It is a big downgrade DPS wise if everything's hitting. The damage per shot goes down, in fact, but it's a lot more accurate. So there's that. It is way, way, way more accurate. Okay. Conference call works better with an enemy nearby? Does it do something special? It says at everyone, that's pretty vague. Um, apparently I missed some Vortex Fragments over here. There's one in the ground. Gimme gimme. Okay, can we find an enemy to test this on? Apparently not. It's 4... 45 a.m. They're all asleep. Oh my goodness. Okay, that might add some DPS. Um, how about we make a... Super target dummy. Yeah, that's a little bit higher. That is a wee tad bit more DPS. Rust Panda, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You weren't missing the owl, by the way. You just have the item that makes you not kill critters. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I was just looking at the spread of it. Um, let's put the rainbow gun away. Um, I still probably shouldn't have upgraded it to Unreal for now. Uh, what else? We wanted to make the rocket launcher thing. I need... We've got just enough. I need a snowman cannon. Let's let's make it happen. So we need night time. And we need... Frost moon? And us, because we're not messing around. Good time to get a feel for the new weapon as well. It's very nice. Oh, look at that. It is melting the mini bosses. I just need to remember to consume mana potions. A better UI so I don't have to look to the corner of the screen know how much mana I've got. Probably be a good idea. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Bad. Look at it go. I don't think we're gonna have as much trouble as we otherwise would farming for the snowman cannon. Even if I mess up and don't mana potion, it takes quite a bit less time to get up to speed. Get wrecked Mecha Santa. 
Okay, he's still got a lot of hit points. Oh, I forgot to equip a magic power potion. That would have helped quite a bit. In fact, is it too late? Let's try. Magic power potion. Got it. We've got a pet that makes me think it's a projectile that's trying to hit me. Oh my goodness. Four, five, six. It's hard to get a feel for how long it takes to run out of mana, because sometimes... Sometimes we pick up a mana star. Let's call it like 20 seconds. They're quite cheap, we just lose some DPS whenever we consume a mana potion. Here we go. It's on now. Yeah, she's not lasting long. <laughs> Give me that snowman cannon. Oh, that's not a snowman cannon. I should do the, uh... Uh, the alien invasion again as well, so we can get the Xeno Popper. Snowman cannon. Maybe I should even do a Zerg potion. <laughs> Didn't see what she dropped. Fun fact, all of the souls rhyme. Souls of rhyme. Yes, indeed. How many soul types are there? Might, fright, sight, flight. Uh... I don't think Calamity adds any, does it? Not with that name, anyway. Like, you could call these things souls, but they're not named Soul of X. They're called Essence of something. Oh my goodness, holy crap! What a nefarious trap. Give me those hearts. No, you're in my way. Okay, okay. How about over here? Can we find some hearts over here? Oh yeah. And some Santas as well. Stay a while and listen to the sound of me shooter. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where is she? Get... Lasered. Um, hurry up and get lasered, please. There you go. Snowman cannon? No snowman cannon. Keep 
messing up with the mana. Don't forget to reload, Dr. Freeman. There we go. Ow, what was hitting me? What the hell? Give me more hearts, they're over here. I know they are. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Alright. I see how it is. Don't let me finish the Santa. No. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. That the juggle, though. A friend of mine never realized that until I said Souls of Ice. <laughs> Indeed. Give me those Souls of Ice, if you know what I mean. What time is it? 3 a.m. We've got like um, 90 seconds to get our snowman cannon. It doesn't want to drop. Give me snowman cannon. That's not a snowman cannon. Shot the Santa. Oh my goodness. It really is just. Okay. Having to manage mana with a laser machine gun type weapon is kind of like a, one little bridge too far with this much happening. Alright, we got him. And there it is. I almost breathed wrong when I saw that. There we go. We got we got the snowman cannon at 4.30 a.m. Fantastic. Now then. Quick stack all the things. Uh, snowman cannon is in here. Uh, we need regular rocket launcher and grenade launcher and 20 vortex fragments, which is exactly what we have. But apparently this happens at a mithril anvil. Scorpio. I will be mildly disappointed if it doesn't have homing rockets, but... Stop with the Terra Prisma, please. It does have homing rockets, except they seem to be significantly worse at seeking their target compared to the Snowman Cannon. Whoa! Rockets will destroy. Right click to fire a nuke. Wow! It's like a quarter of the screen. That's what hit you when you couldn't tell what was hitting you? Sand tank drops spiky balls. Ah, yes. I've run into those when I thought everything was over and I was trying to pick up loot. I keep firing a nuke when I'm trying to just right-click on chests. Alright, let's compare the homing. Also, is this a material? It is a material. I still want to upgrade it. We're not going to... What? Why is it not... Okay. 
How do I... Middle click? Scorpio. The pack is what it makes. Smooth marble block, armored shell, cosmolite bar, and endothermic energy. Fires large homing rockets that explode into more homing mini rockets. When in proximity to an enemy? Hell yes. I think I found my favorite weapon. Um, but that's going to be a while. Let's make an unreal one of these. Compare the deeps. And I won't change into ranger gear. I just want to see, like, the ratio compared to snowman cannon. So snowman cannon, if we fire it from here, gives us about 12,000 DPS. The Scorpio? Huh, okay. I guess the homing rockets can barely hit more than one target. What about the nukes? It's actually lower DPS, if we're hitting all of these. That's definitely not what I was expecting. We've got a traveling merchant. Where is he? At the jungle... Whoops. Oh, we can buy something new. What are you selling? Water gun, hairpin, food, and tiger skin. I am not terribly excited about this. But we need a tiger skin to upgrade the Shroomer sniper rifle? Sure, I'll buy your tiger skin. Good grief. What do we have here? If you double click on the pack you can see what it can make. Double click on the pack. Uh, double click on the pack, you know, in the recipes view, double click on the pack, do you mean like this? Yeah, I thought I was doing that earlier, but it was being, it was misbehaving. Uh, what is the, what, what's she selling? It's new. Is it the Mulcart? I think we saw the Mulcart before. Ball of fuse wire. A dynamite kitten. Yeah, I don't know. I should get some boss fight music for all of the, uh, all of the NPC houses. Alright, so... Oh yeah, I wanted to compare... I wanted to compare the homing capabilities. And single target DPS. Alright, so that is... 8 or 900 at best. Let's call it 800. For the snowman cannon. We barely get any seeking out of this. It seems to only want to seek things after it misses them. But maybe it's good for hitting flying targets. Like maybe it doesn't give up. And that is a lot more DPS, wow. Okay. Okay, yes. Let's give it a try real quick. I won't even bother switching to Ranger for the moment. The pack is what you can make from Scorpio. Oh, right. No? I'm tr- Okay. I'm trying to not aim perfectly at something. I'm trying to make the homing rocket 
do something valuable by homing, but it doesn't... It seems to be impossible to make that happen. Like... I can't seem to find an angle where I would have missed, but it finds its target. Maybe that first shot there? Just barely? What are you talking about? It's hitting airborne targets? Yeah, but, like... Oh, that worked. Okay, when the turtle jumped at us, I deliberately miss. Oh, that did work. I thought it blew up before it hit it. Okay. Maybe I... Okay, it definitely gave up there. It's a bit inconsistent. In terms of... Like, the snowman cannon, there's very much no doubt that it's like turning a corner and chasing something indefinitely. It never, ever gives up. Um... That one missed. That one came back. That one... Maybe it's going for other targets. That's what... Is that why? No, nope, that one gave up. Yeah, it's definitely a bit inconsistent, but... It's like, way better DPS. You just have to aim a little bit. Which is fine, I guess. If half of these hit their target, we're getting more DPS than the Snowman Cannon. Except that it's got bigger AoE, which usually, in the sky, doesn't matter. Do these drop Nebula? Uh, do these drop Fragments? They disappeared. What the? I think that's a Calamity thing. I, don't, I think they don't normally disappear. Once you get out- oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, a lot of rockets just missed there. Overall, the DPS is definitely better, but... Snowman Cannon just never misses a target like that. It just keeps chasing. And there's no way Snowman Cannon would have missed that. Well, unless it hit the ground. Let's try and miss with Snowman Cannon as hard as we can. Yeah, the only way that's happening is if it hits the ground. But, um... Scorpio, when there's a bunch of stuff on the ground, we can just do this. In fact, I really want to try it. I hate to have to swap out our gear, but I really want to see how this works against, like, the alien invasion. The nukes are homing as well. The nukes are homing as well. Oh yeah, they are too. They're just slower. So, what kind of deeps do we get? Let's call it 2300, 2200. This is less than half the DPS if it's single target when we launch nukes. Alright, um, we'll put our mage gear here for the moment. And... What was that other... I guess I'll put this here. That's not what I meant to do. DPS meter... 
So nukes are good if there's a large quantity of enemy in a general area. Yeah. I didn't test to see if the nukes do a better job of chasing. I would imagine they don't. Get rid of this freaking pet as well. It's so distracting. In the middle of those, like, Pumpkin Moon and Frost Moon events, um, I always end up with a pet in my inventory, and when I hit the buff potions, I end up with a pet chasing me. And I always think it's some homing missile that I have to avoid. That was... aggressive. It seems like the homing missile is a lot more aggressive if it's uh, throwing a nuke. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Good grief. This, by the way, is without equipping ranger gear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Um, but I think our best single target DPS weapon right now is the Nano Purge. So I'll probably use that for Moon Lord. But I want to try... I, I want to get the Xeno Popper as well. Give these back. And wrong room. Ranger gear. Live in ignorance and purchase your happiness? What? Are you bullying enemies again? A little bit. Wait, wasn't I getting extra emblems so that I could upgrade this? Oh no, it actually reduces the damage. The stupid sniper scope. 10% damage, 8% crit becomes 7% damage and crit for range specifically. And then we can upgrade it. Uh, not to have... I guess it's 10% damage, 10% crit. For ranged only. Is that better? It's ever so slightly better. Oh, we do have a putrid scent. I could upgrade this now. I need to make a spare destroyer emblem. Um, so we'll take ranger emblem. And we need five souls of the mechanical bosses. What's this? The pet? Oh, it's a banner. Elf Archer. Tinkerer's Workshop is actually not where we take this. Yes, it is. Sight, Fright, Might. Oh, I only picked up four souls of sight. If... And then destroyer, we need Eye of Golem. I'm pretty sure I have a spare in here. Oh, I already made this. Or did I keep it in case I want to stack more damages like this? This is 16, as opposed to 10, 14. We lose the 8 defense and we lose the distracting, useless, fiery thingies. Eight defense is kind of hard to argue with, though. And I don't think I'm going to have enough stacks to be using something else. Anyway, we've got an Avenger emblem now. I need a dis uh, Eye of the Golem. I thought I had one spare somewhere. 
I'm pretty sure. What does this upgrade into? Only this. Yeah, I'm sure I had a second. Oh, here it is. I have the golem. And this only makes destroyer emblem. Okay. Destroyer emblem. Rifle scope. Putrid scent. Sniper scope. Recon scope. And we want damage on it if we're going to bother with it. Menacing, please. That's a lot of top tier rolls that weren't what we're looking for. But we got there eventually. Uh, so we go from like 150 and 23 damage and crit to 150 and 25. Wow. Literally just 2% crit. But if we use anything, any other damage type, we actually lose that 10% damage and crit. Whatever. It's fine. Technically 10% damage, 8% crit is better than 15% damage, but it's less reliable. Or it's more like 14 and 19. We lose 5% damage for 8% crit if we do this. Yeah, I don't like it. Crit is inconsistent. Um, unless you stack like a million of it. Why did I put this in here? It should be in the mage chests. And speaking of why, why is this here? Alright, I think we'll go Unreal Scorpio is our hit lots of enemies weapon. We can still reach for the snowman cannon when it's convenient. Bubble gun is just if something is like cobwebs are in our face. And we need a bow. And I think a uh, phantasm. Oh, I forgot. We have um, vortex beater now. Hell yes. Vortex beater. What does it upgrade to? Nothing, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, Vortex Beater has some homing missiles. We're also going to hold on to homing bullets. So that's going to be our super good homing when we need it. Oh, I could use... You know what? We're going to use Snowman Cannon. If we want super easy to hit something in our face, that's going to be it. First slot's not exactly about damage. Um, magic power I'll put in here. Alright, I need homing bullets. And I need to check uh, which has higher DPS. I'm sure it's going to be Phantasm. I'm guessing Tsunami will actually beat it on DPS to start with. Also, let's put away our Spectre gear. I do wish I had a way to swap all these out more quickly. Uh, let's see... bullet damage... We'll probably use bullets for the most part. No, we're going to use rockets for the most part. But against the boss, it'll be bullets. What am I doing? Flamethrower, arrow, rocket, bullet. Only trouble with this is... Going Ranger, I like to be able to swap the helmets. So 
so we can't have the nice hat. Whatever. Where did I put it? In here. DDD Wow, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Night, uh, thank you for the follow. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. What perfect time is that as a reference to a song in Metal Gear Rising? Fair enough. I haven't actually had the pleasure. I know it's popular. Just got done with the worthy master mode. I PTSD now. Fair enough. That's probably what I'm doing after Calamity is for the worthy. And I might try... After that, I was tentatively thinking of trying to go fast with the arena-less runs. So basically speedrunning with no arenas. Um, I'm not a speedrunner, at least not yet. But I have some ideas that could save a lot of time. Um, alright, so DPS me to go. I'm, I know I haven't been fishing today, but now that I think about it, I'm shocked we still don't have the cell phone. That's like a bit under 6k DPS. Let's call it 5500 average, it looks like. Although maybe that was even a bit high. 5200. Why did... The spirit of Christmas just fade. That was weird. Um, Phantasm at first. It's... Seriously? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm forgetting. Um, Phantasm has a special effect. Uh, I need a super dummy, and so it shouldn't affect the DPS of Tsunami, except that every single arrow is hitting the floor. Um, can we maybe get a platform or something? Actually... Um, let's pick this up. I'm, I'm gonna make a few super dummies. Okay. So we can get every single arrow to hit. Really? We're gonna get every single arrow to hit this way. Tsunami gives us about 4,500 on average, it looks like. I thought it was higher before. Oh, are we not getting the bonus for standing still? So that's like 5k. Actually, 5k was lowballing it. Call it 5,500. Or so. Phantasm? Once it gets going. Oh, that's not even... That's not even a once it gets going. Yeah. Um, because of the extra arrows that it shoots at a target once it hits. Um, that immediately overtook Tsunami. I think. I think it was actually kind of some lucky crits, but it still doesn't take much to outdo Tsunami now. So we can finally retire Tsunami. You've served us well. It's not a material, is it? Oh, it is. Monsoon. Flamewing bow? Reaper Tooth. Yeah, I don't know where to get this stuff. Let's just put this down for now. Alright, and let's 
put away our target dummies. Uh, did I break the platform? I did. Okay. Uh, let's grab ourselves the good ammo. And what's this? Acid round. I forgot to try these. Let's give them a try. Um, I think they're fairly cheap to make, aren't they? Plague cell canisters. 42 damage, 19 damage. Chlorophyte bullets lose a lot of damage for individual shots for the cost of homing. Don't forget, if you hit an enemy with a ranged projectile in the first few frames, it exists. Then you do extra damage, yes, um, in Calamity. Alright, um, let's put these ammo things away. We got bullets, arrows, and rockets. That's all we need. Fantastic. And I want to try the alien invasion. Whoops. Also, I can look around now if I really want to. Um, so weapon number two and five does something weird if I right click. Summon. And I'm a reservation potion. Where did I put my, did I use them all up? I think I did. I think I used up my life force potions. How much more do we have? 852 blood orbs? Yeah, let's uh let's spend a few of those. It's fine. Alright. What's more? Let's do the aliens. And I mainly want to try this weapon. Yeah, it's really good when there's a bunch of them on the ground. Unsurprising. It seems kind of aggressive. Uh, it's probably about the same at homing things that it misses in the air, actually. This is probably by far our best loadout for killing an army. It's, it's kind of hard to beat. <laughs> We're 30% cleared already on the alien invasion. And I forgot my buff potions, actually. I wanted to try these bullets as well. That's not bullets. Spread the plague. Vortex speed is pretty inaccurate though, so you kind of want homing bullets. Yeah, it's definitely a downgrade. Especially against many enemies. Our friend, Martian Saucer. What kind of AoE do we get? We hit two. Oh, that was dumb. We can hit two of the parts of it. 
or if we use an AoE rocket, we can of course hit all of them at once, which should be higher DPS. That looks different. Where is it? Well, we only got one UFO, but we did get the... No, wait, it's not over yet, actually. We did get the Xeno stuff. It doesn't seem to be half as aggressive as Terra Prisma. I can't believe that a random drop from a moderately difficult miniboss isn't as strong as the weapon that you need to kill the hardest boss in the game in Terraria with, uh, like in daytime mode. Where is it? Yep, that's pretty effective. Ow. Uh, why can't I dash? Oh no, no. I realized too late I had to dash left. That I don't know how I ended up on my mount. It's about the same the way the homing rocket works, it looks like, if we use the nuke. And here comes the last one. Still don't have the Xeno popper, unfortunate. Xeno staff is nice though. Nullification pistol. Oh, I forgot about this. Problem with the Scorpio is that it speeds up as it hones in, making it more likely to miss. Yeah. Let's compare the deeps of the summons real quick. Oh, it's a material. Midnight Sun Beacon summons a UFO to vaporize enemies. 292 summon damage. Well, that's going to be a few minutes. Let's put this stuff away. Um... You know what, I don't feel like messing with uh, equipment right now. I'll just put the Xeno stuff in here. I'm surprised I don't have nullification. Yes, I do. I can quick stack that away. Get out of here, banners. I'm surprised we didn't lose any NPCs. Oh, that's a lot of crap I need to sell. We've got spares of these. Wait, wait, what? What did I just... I control clicked a baby Grinch whistle? Oh, it sold it for nothing. Huh. Okay, apparently it's worthless. I don't have one yet, we may as well keep it. Uh, Harpy Banner, Feather, Blizzard Star. Stack all of those. What else do I have in here? Another Grinch thing? Don't need more Elf Melters. A third chain gun? 
we don't... Eh, I'll keep it. Stack gold things. Frozen crown summons a tiny ice queen. Oh yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, I've seen that. Elf copter banner. Ice Queen Trophy. I don't really have much room left for trophies. Another toy tank. Oops. Alright. Can we get back to what we were doing? I think I've already got an anti-grav hook. I want to use it. Ruthless Candy King Sword. Already got one of those. Alright, inventory clean. Uh, this goes here. And... I don't think I do want to use the acid rounds against anything, to be honest. The extra damage just doesn't compensate for every shot missing. Funny how that works. Ice Queen, UFO. Why is this not quick stacking? Do I have too much? Or it goes over here. There it is. Uh, we got damage, ammo reduction, health regen, potion of omniscience. Oh, we haven't used stimulants in ages. Uh, stimulant. Defense by 10, damage reduction by 4, damage by 5%. Crit strike by two, minion knockback doubled, mining speed knockback, movement speed. That's kind of a big deal. I can make it straight out of blood orbs. I thought there's another recipe as well. It's less expensive. Titan, swiftness, iron skin, endurance, and any food. I've got titans here. We can buy all of these. Um, let's stack up on Endurance. That's a bit more than I meant to buy. Iron Skin, we've got a lot of still. Uh, was it Regen as well? No. Swiftness and Titan. Who sells Swiftness and Titan? Uh, that's neither. Take a few more wrath. Oh, that's a hundred. I thought it was ten. Uh, who sells the potions we're looking for? That's night owl. We're running low on those anyway. These guys don't sell potions, except for you, who sells super mana potions, actually. I'm pretty sure you're not selling what we're looking for. Uh, Merchant? Titan? And Swiftness. Who sells Swiftness? The Rogue? I, I think we already checked. That was Night Owl. I'm sure someone sells Swiftness. It's not this guy. It's the Dryad. Okay. We should be able to make tons of stimulants now. Let's get the cheapest food we have, or the 
random foods that we have here, actually. Because they don't stack well. I just want to be rid of them, to be honest. Is this not food? Summons a pineapple. What? Pineapple summons a pineapple. <laughs> Makes sense when you think about it. Alright, we have 32 stimulants and they last half an hour each. Um, did that description say what I think it did? Pineapple, it smells like pizza. <laughs> Perfect. No notes. Um, that means we've got even fewer inventory slots. I'll put the day-night resetter thingamajig in the piggy bank if I can figure out what to swap out. Worms go here. And we'll stack away the Titan Potions. Alright, I believe we are now ready. 8,600 Chlorophyte Bullets seems good. And... We'll want to use those once it's Moon Lord time. Away we go. Oh, that's brutal. Nope. That's not what I'm looking for. What I want is star st uh, star cells following us. Pineapple pizza, indeed. I guess we could just do it this way, since we're so good at killing things that are on the ground, in groups. I'm not seeing a single star cell. Oh, I just realized our summons are going to kill them. So we may as well just clear this as fast as possible. Instead of trying to bother with any cheese. Ow. That's the one dangerous enemy in this zone, I think. Are they not dropping fragments? Oh, they are. Some of them. This omniscience has only got three minutes on it. Funny Stardust Pillar has one dangerous enemy, Solar has only dangerous enemies, right? I mean, every single one of them, except for Vortex, to be honest. Uh, Vortex has one to a lesser degree, but for the most part, 
Every single pillar has exactly one enemy that you're actually worried about. Alright, let's head back in, shall we? Give me those fragments while I can, st can still pick them up. How many do I need for the summon? 18. Except it's probably just worse. I mean, I'm sure... It's gotta be worse than uh, Terra Prisma, right? I mean, obviously, situationally it's better, but if we're about to fight a boss... There's no beating Terra Prisma, at least not for now. Uh, what's our best? This weapon, probably, for Direct Deeps. Even if I don't change the helmet. Yes. Yes, indeed. Alright, Moon Lord's coming. We got a bit less than a minute till the end of the world. What's that? Summons a baby plague bringer pet. I don't want that when I press B. Uh, let's redo our summoning buff. Re-up our station buffs. Let's start at the ocean. I think. Oh. Oh, I don't have... Oh, no. I actually don't have a way to teleport to the ocean. Uh, bullet damage. Let's go. And... I'm about as prepared as I can be right now. Alright, we keep our distance. We try. What is that? That's new. And here comes the beam, I think. Yes. 6.31 a.m. Next one's at 6.45. We do some zigzagging so that we don't get trapped by the projectiles, and here comes the beam. Back the other way. Check the map so we don't run into an island. The eyes look different, but I think they're basically the same. I might have to use teleport here. We're good. I messed up. I messed up. Fuck. Uh, should be eight seconds or so till the beam. We've already broken one of the hands. That's not necessarily good. Oh, that's the last. That's the last one. So we're doing him. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get trapped. Oh, that was close. Okay. Health's not looking great. My muscle memory told me that weapon number three was um, our homing bullets, so I kind of wasted some shots there. Don't go to space yet. Please beam. There we go. There we go. There we go. When do I heal? Two seconds? And that should be the end of the... Yes, that's the end of the beam. Now we just have to stay far enough away and spam homing missiles. And unless... Oh, not that far. Not that far. Unless uh, Calamity changes something, we're on the victory lap here. See, we stayed just far enough away that the the circular beam thing from the mini eye is gonna miss us. 
can we spam homing missiles until the end? Not that close, please. I gotta be ready with the teleport just in case if he does that. Nope! That's what I was afraid of. Luckily we've got a damage denier. I should probably stick with bullets. It's not over yet. Let's not get cocky. Maintain distance so he doesn't teleport to us, but we don't get caught by a beam that we can't see coming. And there's the teleport. And beam? No? I should swap these, because I keep thinking this is number three. He's taking a lot longer to kill than I remember, at least the final stage. Maybe I should keep his hand in sight. Should still be able to dash away from the beam if I see it. Oh, it's his heart that I need to aim at. I forgot. I was probably missing a million shots. That's why he's taking so much longer to kill. For some reason, I thought I had to aim at his head. Alright, we're out of room. And the beam caught me. Luckily, we have damage ignore. Still. Okay, 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 okay. Whenever he teleports like that, I'm just going to be ready with... Um... Rod of Discord instead of dealing damage. I guess I don't have to be that far away from him in this phase. Is he regenerating or something? Alright. Beam should be coming. It's so far away. We don't actually have to be that far away to avoid the beam. The mini beam, that is. It's a little bit harder to dodge the other stuff, but this way we can use arrows and deal more damage. He's got so many more hit points. The first phase wasn't any longer than usual. I'm pretty sure. I guess I can just basically hover here. Why is he not... That last bit felt off somehow. Like I'd somehow accidentally cheesed him so he couldn't attack me or something. That's the phantoms that travel along it, not the tongue itself? Oh yeah, the tentacle thing from his mouth heals him if it reaches him without you killing it. Oh, okay. It feels weird getting the, uh, the final credits at what is like, what, half or three quarters of the way through the run. Piece of moon squid. Lovely. I forgot to even make some super healing potions. <laughs> if that had been close and I lost, I only have myself to blame. What are you selling now? Uh, nothing that I'm noticing. Monkey darts, 212 rogue damage. Okay. So we have some basic, like, post-Moonlord gear. Very, very obtainable. We can just straight up buy sniper rifles and tack shotguns now. Now the fun begins? <laughs> oh no. That 
wasn't so bad. Like, compared to last time, I hadn't fought... A apart from on Expert, which was, like, way too easy with tanky gear. I hadn't really fought Moonlord in forever. Um, who else is buying... Uh, selling something new? Anybody? Time for the endless grind of post-Moonlord? Surely Calamity wouldn't make us grind, is what I would say if I hadn't seen the volume of fragments we need for some things. For, for all of our stuff, really. Like, to get it all. Um, is that all the NPCs? No, we've got some underground. Yeah, I think it was just the rogue that's selling new stuff. Oops. Post Moonlord Calamity is a hundred percent grind. No. Alright. That's a nice house. What do we get? Luminite, of course. Um, is it in the bag? Ooh, I've never actually got this before, because I haven't... Uh, I think it wasn't a drop that we could get when I killed Moonlord more than a few times. I think you basically had to hack the game to get this before. And it drops as unreal. Beautiful. SMDG. Uh, I think it's something like Space Dolphin Machine Gun. 161 versus 272. Ranged damage. Insanely fast. Average speed? That's not quite true. On the other one. Uh, let's do a DPS test. Unreal Vortex Beater. Cheap ammo. Go. Are we about to run out of any buffs? No. Uh, we're gonna need the... The DPS meter first. Okay, so even with the AOE, it's consistently over 6,000. Keeps at 7. Alright, what about the Space Dolphin Machine Gun? Oh, the noise is much better. It's also way more accurate, it looks like. To say it's more accurate is a massive understatement. We could actually use bullets other than homing bullets with this. Over 5,000 DPS. Closer to 6 sometimes. I think this thing peaked... Let's do single target. Um, I think the vortex beater was higher if we're getting the AoE value. It's about 5,000, pretty consistently. SMDG uh, uh, just peaked at almost... It's over... Wow, it, it hit over 10,000. Is the crit rate on this super high? 72 crit, as opposed to 62. Oh, it's because I'm... Let's get rid of the... Uh, the standing still buff. Okay, so it still peaks at 8,000. Where is the Vortex Beater? Vortex Beater peaks at like 4,500. Or maybe 5,000, I would guess, if it gets a really lucky string of crits. Yeah, this is a significant upgrade. 
this is basically the the upgrade of like Mega Shark by a lot because there's a big gap when you don't have anything like a Mega Shark. Like nothing, no good machine gun with like the decent accuracy and DPS. Go to space and mine the look. Yeah, that would be a spoiler. SMDG is a thousand times better than Vortex Beater. Indeed. Uh, it came from the edge of space. Yes, it did. Mr. B Gaming, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Vortex speed is not higher. You just were firing at close range with it, and not the SM SDMG. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the point blank damage. Okay, so we have the ultimate machine gun, is what I would say if we were playing vanilla. We've got the Star Wrath, which uh, obviously is a little bit strong. It's part of Zenith. It's also part of some Calamity weapon. We've got Celebration Mark II. That's going to fill the role of Scorpio? Sort of? It's going gonna, it's gonna to fill Scorpio's role for like... We got Last Prism as well. Wait, did it just drop everything that Moon Lord drops because Calamity? Uh, let's see. Moon Lord. Loot and Collection. We don't have Meow Mare. We don't have Terrarian. We don't have Lunar Portal Staff, Rainbow Crystal Staff, Lunar Flare, or Meow Mare Cart. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it dropped way more weapons than we would normally get. Alright, let's stack away the boring stuff. Gravity Globe, Lamal. Infinite Gravity Potion for the cost of using up an accessory slot. That is not quite good. Meow Mare Minecart? Uh, no, it was, um, yeah, yeah, Meow Mare Minecart. Uh, it does do what you think it does. Imagine not just calling it Meow Cart, but it's Meow Mare Minecart. That's what it says. Alright, let's put the Moon Lord loot in this special chest over here. Um... That's a very good light pet, except for the horrible color. Um, I think I still like the pumpkin one much, much, much better. Let's get rid of the pet. That's off-putting, to say the least. Um, Suspicious-looking tentacle. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> pet. Moonlord. What a waste. Had it been fully restored, it would have been a force to behold, but what you thought was an empty shell. No. No, I don't accept this calamity law. However, that doesn't diminish the immense potential locked within it released upon its death. Does that mean we have another, like, wall of flesh kind of moment here? Moon Lord Relic. Uh, where's Moon Lord in the list? Right after Astrum Deus. Oh, there was something called Astrum Deus, and that was easy. Um, something I can recognize would be good. Lunatic Cultist 1 2. There it is. Moon Lord goes only here. We've got Celestial Starboard. 
Uh, flight time is the same as fish run wings. Acceleration multiplier is higher. Horizontal speed is the same. The more you know. Hold up to boost faster. Press up to deactivate hover. Yeah. We can do the hover thing. Uh, so how fast can we go up here? I, I need a... I need a measure. Let's do some fishing quests. I can't believe we still don't have the cell phone. 103 miles per hour up. That is slightly faster. Literally one mile per hour faster than we can fall with... Uh, with the slime mount. Whoops. We're going to lose fast travel in water, but I guess it's probably worth it. It also accelerates faster, so even if I forget to press up, that's effective. Um, we're going to want to re-roll it, of course. But I don't think I can quite tolerate uh, having the star thing under me graphically. It, I don't like the sound of it either. So we're going to go with the wings. I think for Calamity Fishing you missed something big. Like what, another duke? I think there's some... yeah, Old Duke. That is, uh... That's way down on the list. The list has been very wrong on a couple of things, if we take this as the suggested order. But I, I sincere... I, I seriously doubt that, um... Duke Fishron... Old Duke Fishron is gonna be something we want to do just yet. Illuminite bar. This only makes void monolith. What is exodium cluster? Cold cluster for the great unknown. That goes into a lot. How many times do they want us to kill the moon lord? Illuminite brick. Alright, let's make some bars. And naturally, we'll spend all of them on some bullets. Just kidding. Uh, we definitely want... Probably the Vortex stuff to start with. And I don't have any Vortex left, though, do I? Hmm. We've got 64 Nebula Fragments. We could make a Mage set. Um, we need... 10... 30, 45 to make a set. I can't even make a set for the solar. How many bars do we need? 16, 12 is uh, 28, plus 8 is 36. Oh my goodness. We need to kill him twice for one armor set. I'm not sure what the point of having wings locked behind the moon lord i mean i know you normally would have to kill him a few times to necessarily get the celestial starboard but like i'm not sure what the point is of having wing sets that are locked behind the moon lord that don't give as good flight as the celestial starboard i guess we could have slightly more ranged damage and crit instead. But the horizontal speed and the acceleration multiplier is so much less. Thugman2 is asking for a ban. Stop forcing voice you don't sound cool or gangster plus no girls here. Yeah. 
I see what you mean. Have a nice life. Luminite planetoids? Uh, okay, that's a bit spoilery. I do have the, the blind tag. I know I'm going to have to look things up, but I'm trying to figure things out insofar as I can without, like, going to the wiki or things like that. Uh, six I welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so what are we making with our 26 Luminite bars? What is that? Something we can't make yet. There's so many things um, that were hidden behind Luminite bars that I think we didn't need anything else besides a few bars to upgrade them. So we got to go through this whole whole list. Lightning Hawk. I don't actually know how to get that. Magnum. Flintlock pistol, five diamonds, iron bars, makes magnum. Uh, I don't think I have a flintlock pistol, do I? Or does the arms dealer sell it? I thought it was only the... No, he's got it. Okay. So we upgrade that to magnum quite easily. Um, we upgrade that to lightning hawk. With mechanical boss souls can be used thrice per boss battle. Oh, I remember seeing this. Uses magnum rounds. That's kind of weird. What does it upgrade into? Elephant killer. Can be used thrice per boss battle. I'm probably never going to use that. Um, does it upgrade again? No. Oh, Elephant Killer is 2,000 damage. But, I mean, that's already not much. If we get to fire this three times in one boss battle... I'm, I'm guessing outside of a boss battle, you can use it as much as you want, maybe? Okay, if that's the case, that's by far the highest damage shot we can make, but I'm, I'm guessing... Maybe we can only use it during a boss battle? I really don't want to bet my luminite bars on this right now. Maybe when maybe when we can afford them easily. I don't know where to get twisting nether. Clock gatling numb. I think we can make that now. Clockwork assault rifle, Venus Magnum. Okay, I think I do want to know where do I get these life alloys? Oh, I think I figured that out, actually. We need to go downstairs. They use ammunition that can only be gotten a limited number of times. Wow. Yeah, that's like the opposite of something I would want to use. Starfleet. Okay, this is something that I was looking for. Five Luminite bars. We've got the Super Star Shooter and Electrosphere Launcher. Fires a spread of plasma blasts, 157 ranged. It's still a material. Um, how much do I want to use Luminite on? I definitely want to get the the set. 16% increased range damage. If I if I get the Vortex helmet. We don't lose any damage from losing the set bonus for Shroomite. And I gain a little bit of damage. And it stops being... Uh, it stops being weapon specific. It's just range specific. So I think I'll make the Vortex Helmet first. And we'll wave goodbye to... Oh, I can't. I don't have any... Uh, I don't have any Vortex Fragments. Can we start the pillars again yet? Yes, we can. Alright, that's what we're doing first. Ok, 
Okay, that was pretty brutal. Oh, let's use the SMTG. I've only got musket pouch on me at the moment, but it's probably fine. Let's just practice our aim a little bit. Ouch. It's a little hard to see where the bullets are going. But I guess if we're seeing damage numbers, we know we're hitting them. I don't think I need to potion for this fight, do I? It probably should, it's just funny. Except for the blood orbs, which we can farm ridiculously easily. Ouch. Ouch. Ow. Why is this thing still alive? Oh my goodness. Um, what was that? What was that weird thing that I ran into at the end. I've never even seen that, I don't think. Alright, you know what? Homing bullets. Um, it would probably be a good idea. If we had homing bullets, where did I even put them? We didn't spend them all. I actually don't know where they are. Also, I wanted to put Celebration Mark to probably in place of the Snowman Cannon, question mark. Uh, let's upgrade that real quick. I might stop using the Recon Scope, even though it's technically just that little bit better. I don't like the way what I'm trying to right-click on, like, NPCs and chests and things. Um, it makes the, the screen jolt. What was I going to reforge? Celebration. Fantastic. Piquard, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can make fragments out of the other three. Yeah, that's true, but it's like, it's not a good ratio. Um, also, I wouldn't have enough. Wait, if we're just doing the helmet, though, it might be worth it. How many do I need for the helmet? That's Stardust. You dub. We need Vortex. It's a very similar color. I need 10 Vortex Fragments. You know what? I think I can... I think I can tolerate that conversion just for this... just this once. Alright, let's get that helmet. Say goodbye to ultra-specific damage types. Never look back. That purple, though. And you know what? I can't resist. We're going to see what this weapon does right now. Um, so where was it? Star... Super Star Shooter? And the other one was... It's not the Meow Thrower. Electrosphere Launcher. And what do we use? Ancient Manipulator? Starfleet. Let's go. What kind of ammo does it use? Why is a spread of plasma blasts? Why can't I fire it? Um, we've got bullets, we've got arrows, we've got rockets, we've got gel. What? What does this use for ammo? Oh, stars, probably. Because it's an upgrade from the star cannon. Oh, 
It's surprisingly slow. This thing... This seems terrible. That's like, what, 500 damage if everything hits? For a star? Are you joking? Um... I hope we're missing something here, like... If we grab a, a special target dummy, a super dummy, it'll turn out that actually as soon as it hits something cool happens. Where did I put it? The Starfleet uses stars as ammo, indeed. Where did I put the Starfleet? Scorpio... Um, oh, I bet I know. I've seen this movie. There we go. Starfleet... and I just put... I did not put my Unreal Celebration there because I had it favorited. Okay. Where did my... Does this disappear if I take it off screen? Yeah, it does. I didn't know that. That's... That makes it easy. Alright, let's get rid of the Terra Prisma. Hit this with Starfleet. Um, that's different. So it looks like it has big AoE, but like, we've already got Celebration. Um, this... Unless I'm missing something, this weapon seems even worse than... It's even more disappointing than the Super Star Shooter. Super Dummy is technically a mob. That makes a lot of sense. Starfleet Penetrates? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, all the Star Cannon weapons do, but... Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't even do that. My... I wouldn't say my disappointment is imme immeasurable and my day is ruined, but I'm really shocked at how bad this seems. Um, I guess we'll put it away and try the next upgrade of it later on. And that would be much, 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 much later on. You have no idea what the DPS is? You haven't checked? It's snail speed is the description. So I don't think its DPS is going to be very high. Um, I mean, if we hit... If we live the dream and hit every possible target with it, maybe. Sure. But like... I don't know that it's worth a star. Maybe I'll try it on some actual targets at some point. It'll be really good for events like Lunar Pillars. Maybe. Alright, do we have our Chlorophyte Bullets? No, I didn't find them. I didn't actually figure out where they ended up. Um, we've got Acid Rounds here. Um... There they are. Nope, that's Cursed Bullets. Oh. Oh, that's where all the Living Shards ended up. I wonder why. Because I was going to make Terra Flame Burster? I think we already did that. Terra Arrow? Travels incredibly quickly and explodes into more arrows when it hits a certain velocity. I think we tried that. Yeah. I don't know why the Living Shards ended up in here. 
All right, so maybe Scorpio here. Or maybe Scorpio for number one and Celebration for number five. Or at least makes it easy to get Fallen Stars. Astrum Deus, which you've already killed, drops Fallen Stars. Interesting. Um, let me just put this target dummy back. And then... What was I going to do? I'm looking for the bullets still. We didn't go through 8,000 chlorophyte bullets. I'm sure of that. I remember... Whoops. I remember swapping them out for DPS testing reasons, so they should be, like, here. Acid round... Here they are. Okay. Yeah, we've still got, like, 8,000. Alright, anything else we want to do with Luminite Bars before... before we do the pillars again? Planetary Annihilation. I think we have these except for the Galactica Singularity. Oh, 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 Onyx Chain Blaster. And that's part of some bigger things as well. I'm going to end up having to kill Moon Lord three times. Yeah, no, let's, let's just put this away. I want to try to finish the Ranger set. Um... With only one more Moon Lord kill. So let's do that. I don't suppose anyone sells super healing potions now? That would be too easy, right? I'll just hold on to these for the moment. I doubt I'm going to go through eight of those, though. Now then. Terra Prisma. And I never actually cleared out. We've got Last Prism. Very fun for the mage. I'll put it here just so that I don't, like, forget. Uh, we've got Star Wrath. I like the look of the Influx Waver more. We've got... Utensil Poker? Rogues are weird. Fires random utensils in bursts of three. <laughs> okay then. Grants well fed on enemy hits? Seriously? Uh, but that's like worse than exquisitely stuffed. Oh, and we also got some... Uh, some vanity stuff here, but I don't know if I like the look of it, to be honest. Although, I definitely don't love the Vortex helmet, aesthetically. Let's see... That's not where I want that to go. Do we have something a bit more... anything else? How about Ninja? Why not? We're, we're being a sweaty, uh, ranger right now. Let's dress up as a ninja. Perfect. And some... Uh, black dye for the wings. Excellent. Now then. Celestial Onion? Sounds delicious. Alien power pulses inside its layers. Consuming it does something that cannot be reversed. This item does nothing in Master Mode? Does it, like, upgrade the game to Master Mode if you're not already on it? We also got a Portal Gun. Oh, I have to actually equip it. 
in order to get the right click. Can I not... Why am I not falling through it? Huh? What? Now I'm falling through it? Okay, sure. Can I just leave these portals here? And like, put the portal gun away? How long will that last? I never thought of this uh, before in Terraria. Alright, um, Phantasm might not be relevant anymore. Already. I guess it makes sense. Loot drops from the Moon Lord. Um should probably outclass the stuff that you can easily craft right before him. Put this stuff in our weird calamity things chest. Utensil poker can go down here. You can see by the empty uh, mannequins how much we've been playing with the rogue class. You weren't falling through it because of the guide sitting there. Oh, okay. Celestial Onion gives you an extra accessory slot. Oh. So we could have had the maximum number of accessory slots on Expert. Alright, let's go delete this guy with homing bullets. And let's not underestimate him this time. He didn't manage to summon the dragon thing this time. Oh, yes, he did. I could kill it. Might be a good idea. Oh. Oh, we're frozen. That's rude. I guess if we're going to have homing bullets equipped, then an arrow, a, a bow could still be better DPS on an easy to hit target. Why couldn't I dodge? Oh, oh my goodness. What? Are you serious right now? I think they made it seek harder than in vanilla, maybe. I've never seen it like turn around that quickly, especially right after hitting you. Um, yeah, the celebration clears it really easily because explosives on a segmented enemy. Huh? Did they get confused? What? They they did get confused. Okay. Oh, those things do see, actually. Maybe I should be using uh, some higher damage direct fire bullets even for this. Nah, we're not gonna hit like more than 50% of our shots. Which is what we would need for it to be worth. He's almost dead already. How did I not kill him last time? And we're right in the middle of a vortex. 
Hello. Oh, why do I have the vortex beater here? That's that was a mistake. Let's just have some fun with celebration. Oh, I have this. I think I want it here, actually. There we go. We're actually one-shotting these when they crit sometimes. Congratulations on beating Moonlord. Thank you. Uh, I, th I feel like I need a Zerg potion or something. This is rather slow. There we go. The Starfleet might just instantly kill the lunatic uh, cultists. As in, not the boss, but the group before. I mean, they're not much of a... Do you mean the boss? We could try it next time. Nice name, by the way, Starfleet. Literally the next word after you stopped reading answers your question? Uh... Cultist dragon thing. Oh. That's weird. I think it scrolled weird. Oh wow, Automod thinks that was a problem. <laughs> Kill the lunatic cultists dragon thing. It was doing over 58k damage on the dummies. Yeah, but that's like 12 dummies lined up together for optimal... Um... I guess uh, it's not exactly a good test on segments, but since there were two rows of them, but yeah, it might be worth trying. But I bet Celebration is going to be, like, comparable with how quickly it kills them, and we can just buy rockets. It took like a second or two for Celebration Mark II to kill the Dragon segment. Uh, the, dra the Dragon Worm thing. Also, I haven't been hit once by... The one super dangerous enemy here. Oh, what just hit me even? Oh, here they are, there's two of them. Never mind. I wasn't complaining, it's fine, don't worry about it. Let's see if I can heal real quick. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, now I can't dash. Ow! I forgot those intangible things. Case you. Okay, can we chill for a minute? Maybe not. How about we heal? How did this become dirt? Or did I just never... I guess I never made the mud that deep over here. Oh, I didn't fix the dash. And we immediately run into the one dangerous enemy here that teleports behind you and shoots you in the back. I should just use nukes for anything on the ground. 
There's gonna be more than one of them. Okay. Nope. 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 At least it's not hardcore. I would have to port home after taking one hit from those things. Uh, let's take the shiny stone back. Hmm. I think we kind of have to use the nukes for things on the ground. Because the regular rockets miss. Snowman cannon's a lot better um, if we're using the primary fire in that use case, but there's always something else to hit with AoE. So it doesn't work out that way. Brains, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. I kind of didn't notice for a little while that we can kill the pillar now, so let's do that. Yeah, that was kind of fast. I love how the music just goes instantly from menacing to whimsical, windy day music. Why do we get a sandstorm here? There's all this sand over here, that's why. It thinks it's a desert biome. I can't actually see the nebula fragments on the mini-map. Just the big map. one more up here. I I want to replace this void of extinction for damage. It's really weird and distracting and never actually useful the way it rains down red fire. We got paper airplanes! Beautiful. Alright, uh, so we have Witch Fragments now? Nebula. We've got a million of those already. Um, once we do Solar, we'll be able to... No, we won't. We need Luminite Bars, I keep forgetting. But let's get it out of the way. I actually missed a Fragment here earlier. To be clear, I have no idea if Starfleet is actually good or not, but you could at least give it a fair chance. Yeah. I'll, I'll use it against, um, like, the alien invasion or something. Um, I definitely want to save Stardust for last. Let's do Solar. Love the jungle music. Terraria's music in general is just great. We don't need a whole lot of bullets to kill things. I could just use chlorophyte bullets all the time at this point. Oh, except we don't want to use bullets on these guys. Um, because they will rebound them back in our face. But not rockets for some reason. Actually, let's not hang out where the pillar is, because um, this is, I think, one of two pillars that can hurt you directly. 
even though it looks like the flamey things are kind of like part of the background. You can make a equipment or weapon, am I right, without luminite? Yeah, we've already made those ones. This is our second run at the pillars. We've got the uh, vortex helmet already. This is very ammo efficient, actually, the nukes. Brains, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, that nuke was seeking very aggressively. It did like a whole... Uh, what's the name of that particular mathematical spiral? You know the one. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly why um, rockets and mage attacks. It's only bullets that actually get reflected by the, uh, the spinnies. Maybe arrows as well. I'm sure you could find some other examples like throwing knives or something like this. But yeah, rockets are safe. Ironically enough. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, that's the, th the spinny thing, where if you shoot them it'll rebound a bullet back in your face. And they do it completely without warning. It seems like Calamity changes it so that as we progress through the shield hit points of the solar pillar we get different enemy spawning, or more strong ones. probably why we haven't seen a single Brolipede! Yeah, that's probably why we haven't seen one of those yet. Fibonacci? That might be it. Atrox Satus? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is your favorite weapon slash playstyle so far for Calamity? Um, I'm really liking Mage. Summoner is... Uh, I, I really like what they've done, some of it anyway, with Summoner. And I don't have to like it all. Like, to each their own, right? The, the weird, giant, elemental things that take up way too much of the screen when you have a bunch of them. Uh, by all means, if you, if that's your thing. Um, but I really like the summons, like, uh, especially early on. This, this first one you get from the Eye of Cthulhu, where was it? Just laser beams everything through the walls. Um, that is ridiculously good and very reliable. Uh, Calamity has very reliable summons, for the most part. Is there a stronger boss than Moonlord on Calamity? Because I don't play that mod yet. Uh, yep. So Boss Log has kind of done us dirty a couple of times with the recommended uh, progression. Like, uh, this boss right here is an absolute horror. Um, and we beat... Where is it? I mean, I did sequence break and kill Duke Fishron early, but even so, with Duke Fishron gear and stuff, um, that boss, like several entries above him, was horrible. Um, but yeah, according to... 
according to the boss mo uh, boss log, Moonlord is here, and we've got just over a page of other bosses and events uh, that are post Moonlord to be. Oh, this is a material. Dradon's Forge. Um, okay, we're not making that for a minute, and we can easily get another ancient manipulator. Let's just get rid of it. Um, quick stack time. Why do I have no dash? Because I've been healing. This is something after Supreme Calamitous? Supreme Calamitous? Yeah, there's something called Adult Eidolon Worm. It's probably an optional extra, like Duke Fishron. Alright, let's get... Where did my summons go? There should be one or two of them left. Let's go back, and let's use our buff potions this time. Now that the real shit has shown up. Okay, 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 okay. Just gotta kill a few more of these. Oh, I forgot. I've got the uh, Celestial Starbird. I can outrun those things so easily now. Just waiting to get to see just how quickly I can outrun them. Yeah, I should probably not um, be using bullets until we see one of those rollipedes. Here we go. I can outrun this in a straight line. Oh my goodness. OP. Oh, and our, our pillar is ready. Let's get it. There we go. Just casually outrunning a crawlipede without even going diagonal, without dashing. Can I pick up this stuff in peace? Probably not. Give me that strange plant. Oh, that was something else. I don't want to miss any fragments. Is that another strange plant? Nope. It's blueberries. I wish there was a potion that you could take to pick things up at longer range, so it doesn't have to use up an accessory slot. That would be nice. Up we go. Alright, I think that's all of them. And what? Let's do a fishing quest real quick. I still want the cell phone. We've been without it for too long. Surface forest. Uh, we can do that right here. There's no pillar right now. You know if one of the later on Calamity items have item pickup range built in? I don't know. I would guess if Calamity did do that, we would probably have it by now, but I could be wrong. Uh, fishing rod goes here. 
I, I need some inventory space. And yeah, the, uh, the recon scope is actually driving me crazy. When I do this, I think I'll... I think I'll swap that out even if I lose a tiny amount of damage. Although, I could... Uh, I just realized I'll be able to see what Moon Lord is doing from further away. That is not insignificant. I just have to select, like, celebration before I right-click things. Alright, give me some bait. Give me fishing gear, actually. What time is it? We've got, like, two minutes to get our quest fish. There it is. And... I think we already quick stacked, no? Crates go... Oh, did I... Did I open my crates? I think I did. We should save up a few and use a luck potion to open them. Sextant. I don't think we had that yet. I don't think we still... I, I don't think we have the weather radio. And that's the last piece of the cell phone. Where are we keeping... Whoops. Uh, fisherman's pocket guide, weather radio, sextant. Yeah, we just need the weather radio now. Doxillos, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't know what to... How about two lightning bugs? I don't think that's doing us many favours. Sitting in our piggy bank. Sextant can go here. Or here, I guess. Alright. 20 seconds we can do another fishing quest. Have you considered playing modded Minecraft on stream? Not really, but I could think about it. May have been a magic class boosting accessory. Uh, we've got this is vanilla as well. We've got a magic accessory that increases the range for mana pickup star, uh, mana star pickups. Um, but not. I, I would love it if a potion did the treasure magnet thing, so we just didn't have to use an accessory slot to do that. Um, Vortex Pillar, Stardust Pillar... I thought I only cleared one of them. Oh, we started over here, that's why. Yeah, let's leave Vortex Pillar for last, as it is easily the easiest to clear, in my opinion. And we don't want to be flat-footed when Moon Lord is coming. Um, I probably don't need two guns right here. Let's get a bow equipped instead. Um, where did I put the so far ultimate bow? Max Chess, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think I'll put that in slot two. Bow is two, gun is three. Homing missiles in number one, and number five is celebration. Seems good. And Vortex Beater can retire. Alright. 
Let's clear another pillar. The laser of the Moon Lord is hard to dodge because you need an you need endgame wings to fly that high. Kinda, yeah. I mean that's how I did it last time as well. Uh it's a lot easier to acquire Rod of Discord in Calamity, but in vanilla you can use it as often as you'd like. It just costs you health if you use it rapidly back to back. But um, the cooldown for Rod of Discord in Calamity is like 15 seconds, which is as long as it takes for the Moon Lord laser to, to fire again. So that doesn't help. But yeah, if you if you don't want to go after the uh, soaring insignia, you could use gravity potions. That does give you infinite flight from fairly early on. It's just a bit disorienting. Uh, what weapon should I use? Definitely the bullets. They're not... Uh, on second thought, give me those nukes. Uh, yeah, you could use gravity potions for infinite flight. It's just... A a little bit disorienting, especially at first. Um, or you could use Rod of Discord to teleport around the beam. Lol. That knockback though, that is insane. Look at it. It's like hitting someone perfectly in the feet with a rocket launcher in the old quake. No, it's even more than that. Oh my goodness, this is bullying. Let's go easy. I mean, I did take a hit or two. I don't want to waste my potions on this area, though. It's not that hard. It's not that dangerous, if I'm careful. Rockets we can always just buy. Actually, the same applies to arrows. Venom arrows are incredibly good for something you can just buy even in vanilla. Perfect timer. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. actually some good deeps. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, I got too used to the Shroomite armor forcing me to use one weapon or the other. Or like sacrificing damage. But uh, now we've got like 1% more DPS. But it's with all ranged weapons at the same time. Not dead yet? There we go. Well, careful. I feel I could have killed those faster with a different weapon. Alright, let's pick up our precious loot. Am I missing... Uh, 
I kind of appreciate in a weird way that the Celestial, uh, the Starboard, uh, Celestial Starboard doesn't give you that massive boost in flight uh, vertical acceleration for like a second. Because otherwise I would feel like I have to hold down up every time I jump. Also, I should have re-rolled this thing by now. Um, we're not getting any defense or damage out of it. Speaking of which... Warding is now up to plus 8 defense. That's not a big change, but still. It was plus 7 before Moon Lord. Okay. Let's go back. Stack away this... Twinkle Popper banner. It sounds like a weird kind of juice or something. Uh, and what was I going to do before the last banner? Probably fishing quest. How many are we up to? 33. We're inching towards um, getting the cell phone becoming more and more likely. Surface and underground. Let's go. Bait. Fishing gear. Go. Oh, also the everything fishing gear. That would help. Kind of forgot that last time. Master bait. Fishing potion. Alright, this was a dud. As expected. Most of the fishing quests are not going to be that exciting. Oh, I was going to re-roll this, that's right. Um, I'll settle for menacing. Oh, there it is. 194, 197, we're just under 200 DPS per shot. Also, I just realized, um, oh, we have a, a very uncomfortable traveling merchant. Can we, can we talk? There we go. Uh, I'll just be super sure that we've got the life form analyzer. I think I've already got a spare. And give me that hunter cloak. Why not? Wait, where does this go? Oh, in an accessory slot. Okay. I kind of like that. Yeah, I haven't been, like, quick-swapping to this tanky build at all. So let's just put that away. And I could probably... You know what? The Hunter Cloak color goes kind of well with the Fish Run Wings, so let's just keep it. It's kind of weird with the Ninja Hood, though. I wonder if there's anything else I have. Switch it up a bit. I could just get some green dye, maybe. It's okay, I guess. Maybe a darker green? Can we do a darker green? Green and black? Why isn't it just darker green? How dare you. Hmm. 
Well, that is just a darker green, but it's way too dark. Alright, fine. Let's put this away. Speaking of which, life form analyzer, we did indeed have one. I'm not gonna... Oh, wait. Okay, we might find what we're looking for in a strange plant. Martian dye? Probably not, but let's see what it looks like. I... Does it leave a trail? Is that what this dye does? No? What is leaving a trail? Is it the ninja gear? Yeah, it's the ninja gear. I didn't know it did that. That's kind of cool. But what does the Martian die do? Oh. Apparently... It depends on what you're using it on. It doesn't do anything on the ninja gear. Okay. Let's put that away for now. Alright, are we about ready for Moon Lord number two? The traveling merchant has departed. I think the ninja gear is hard to die because it's mostly black, yeah. That's probably it. Let's up our summons. And hit the last pillar. And I suppose, theoretically, I should farm the last pillar a bit, but... It's a mixture of, I can't be bothered, and we're just gonna kill Moonlord again anyway. take a hit because I didn't waste ammo. Let's just be aggressive. It's easy to get more chlorophyte. Just go for it. Just takes like a minute or three, depending on how much we want. Could maybe do mage to kill Moonlord this time. I really want to do it with the SMDG though, I haven't done that before. Maybe next time we'll go mage. I definitely want... You know what, I want to get all four of the armor sets. And I want to try the different classes out a bit more. Or is it... yeah, it's four sets. DPS though. Oh wait, 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 don't finish it off yet. Not until we're sure we're ready. I was gonna change class, but I'm not gonna do that, so it's fine. Why can't I switch? Oh, here we go. Alright, so what's the time? 9.08. Moonlord appears one minute later, and I think he... Like, from the second that he appears, he does a beam every 15 seconds. I should have timed it so that, um... So that his beams would be exactly on the hour, the 15 minutes, and so on. Just 
just so it's easy to make note of it. But I don't know for a fact that... I think it's like 907, 908 we killed this... Oops. Oh crap, crap, crap. Nope, that's, that's like the worst time that could have happened. Oh no. Alright, give me health. Yes, I think we're good, pretty much. That's not good, actually. That's really bad. That's... That's a fucky-wacky. Oh no. Okay, we can see further with our scope. And he should be getting ready to beam. There we go. Fantastic. Ouch. Alright, I think we've recovered. And let's try managing a little bit which eyes we kill in which order. Back we go. Ouch. Ouch again. I'm 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 throwing. I'm throwing. We're so dead. I need conch. I should have got conch before this. Oh, he's teleporting. That's not good. Oh no. Okay. That was Disaster Dominoes. A what now? What's a what now? Oh, a fucky wucky? Yeah, I did a fucky wucky and the Moon Lord put me in the forever box. Um, We got some Vortex Fragments though. That's nice. We've only got six super healing potions, but that's probably all we're going to need. I don't particularly want to do the pillars again. Oh my god. Oh wait, I forgot. Calamity probably lets us summon him whenever we want, once we make this one item. Uh, where do we make it? Ancient Manipulator, probably? I didn't make the hook yet, either. It's only six of each. What hook are we using? Illuminant. It's got more reach. Sure, why not? Seems reasonable, indeed. Uh, not consumable, hell yes. I'm happy to pay 20 of each um, fragment for that. I would have already done Moon Lord again by now, if I'd realized. Okay. So we're going to summon him at exactly 1300. Oh, sorry, 1am, actually. And the theory is... Wait, wait, wait. I haven't fixed my summons. Okay. I'm gonna summon him at exactly 15 seconds, 15 minutes past 1 a.m. Oh, he comes straight in. Oh, okay. That's not what I was expecting. I thought it would be the one minute, like, like with the pillars. Okay. Okay. I'm still getting used to dodging with the recon scope like this as well. Maybe I shouldn't use it. It's kind of throwing me off a bit. But I could use it to peek a little, maybe? I don't know. We do get to see the projectiles coming a lot sooner. Now we need to lose altitude so that we don't end up in space when we're trying to dodge him. Or avoid his beam, that is. Ow. Oh, that was close. Get the eye. Yes. Actually, I should have waited. I should have left it on, like, one health so that we delete it before the next beam. But we don't have this thing to deal with. But... We're basically... Ow. No, that was close. That's fine, actually. We're basically on our victory lap now, as long as I don't 
bump into something. Did we get all of his... I think we're on the heart. Can't actually see that far. Let's let him catch up a bit. Yeah, 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 we're on the heart. Just have to stay far enough away to avoid the circle beam. And preferably know when we're going to run out of um, planet. It's not going to last that long. Could probably be using the uh, bow for this part, actually. Might be better. Oh, wait, wait. What am I saying? I can't see far with the bow. There we go. That was pretty easy, honestly. The more DPS we have, the quicker we get through the first phase and get to the victory lap. Alright, we got Lunar Flare. A absolutely devastating mage spell. It's a material now. The Dance of Light. Okay. Um, I'll probably do Mage next. We got Terrarian. Glorious. Uh, Celestial Rainbow Crystal Staff. Summons a Sentry. Oh, it floats. This is the first Sentry we've had that floats. The colors duke the colors. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> I need a target. Let's see how reliable this is. Oh. That seems kind of strong. Yeah, I'd forgotten about this. Okay. Well, it's obviously a bit strong for this area, but the point is it is definitely kind of reliable, though. I bet... Oh, 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 oh. I bet this counts as a sentry for the purpose of the Old One's army. Should we do an Old One's Army? I think we can probably kill Betsy now. <laughs> Unreal SMDG. Um, we've already got utensil thingy. I'll make a warding version of this in case I want to swap it out. But I don't think 1% damage reduction and 8 defense. Well, it depends. On a fight like Moon Lord uh, or Fish Run, for example, you can only take a few hits anyway, and you want to finish the fight as quickly as possible. Um, on some bosses, it can actually be a lot better to be tanky. This is taking a few clicks to get warding. There we go. Space Machine Dolphin Gun? Did I say SMDG? <laughs> I'm guessing I said that. Alright, Ruthless. Uh, we've already got Unreal Celebration Mark II. It is a material, so we'll definitely... We'll happily take a spare. Um, Terrarian is also a material. <laughs> Azathoth? That we have a yo-yo called Azathoth. Destroys the universe in the blink of an eye. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I was going to sell the tentacle portal gun. We'll keep this, we'll keep this. I don't need another gravity globe. 
Oh, Moonlord Relic. Did we open the goodie bag? Yeah, we did. You just keep saying SMDG? Alright, it's canon now. That's, that's what the weapon actually is called. I deeply enjoy the Lovecraftian vibes of this game, indeed. I, I deeply en enjoy the did you just punch Cthulhu in the face vibes of this game as well. Alright, let's put the celebration in here. That's a lot of Rocket 3s. Uh, we got Luminite. How much do we have? Can we finish the set? Maybe? Uh, let's see. 16 plus 12. We still can't finish it? No! What does this give us? 8% damage and crit, 10% movement speed. We actually slow down if we take this. 20 defense, though. Uh, and 12%. Better ammo chance. Slightly worse damage and crit, but more defense. Bruh. We're actually losing damage. I get 1% more damage and crit if I take this now, but we lose movement speed, Rubna. I, I don't think it's worth it until we get the set bonus. Um, I'm just going to keep the helmet on. Oh, I misread how many we have. Let's go. Alright, set bonus. Double tap up to toggle stealth, increasing ranged ability and reducing chance for enemies to target you, but slowing movement speed. Um, you can't... If you dash, you lose the stealth as well. But I think... I think if we fly, we actually get full speed. Um, let me just double check again. Let's get our... Goblin tech. Alright, so flying horizontally... Oh, I can actually make sure I fly horizontal. No, I think using the hover is a bit of a... is a bit different, actually. Never mind. <laughs> we can stay stealthed while we use the hover to go fast horizontally? 67 miles per hour. Where normally we go like 45. I didn't even know that. How fast do we dash? Uh, hard to say. I think dash is like the same speed. So... I gotta get used to using the hoverboard controls. I don't normally do that. So we can fly... If we just double tap up, and then we fly normally, we don't dash, but we use hover to go fast horizontally when we want to. So we fly and we go down and to a side, but it doesn't actually go down and to the side. Um, wow. Yeah, we get way more damage while we do this as well. Unless they changed it. Let's see. No, not stealth. 204. Stealth 244. Way stronger knockback. We also get 15% more crit. So we can stealth fly fast away from the Moon Lord. As fast as if we were dashing. Maybe I should stop using... Okay, no. Master Ninja Gear gives us dodge, which is a guaranteed uh, damage avoidance in Calamity. But if not for that, I would be saying maybe I should just learn to dodge like this with the, with the wings. 
I should probably try the Shroomite hoverboard against Empress of Light. This it, it, it's it's gonna have a learning curve to it, but it might be worth it. All right. Uh, before we go today, let's see if we can't delete Betsy. Whoops. Um, we've got the Crystal Star. Fantastic. And... Do I have... I'm, I'm sure I have Eternity Crystals lying around somewhere. But I'll just grab this one. Let's re-up our buffs. The nice thing as well, if I stopped using the dash, would be not accidentally doing it. But I do want to be able to dash on the ground as well. Be kind of funny if there was a Moon Lord's leg box. <laughs> that would actually be hilarious. Uh, do I not have... Oh, here it is. Alright, can I use... Can I use the Rainbow Crystal Staff as a sentry? what I want to know. It looks like the answer is no. Um, not as that kind of sentry anyway. So we can only have one. Let me go grab an actual sentry. Actually, I don't think I have an up-to-date um, like a good the Lister Rod is like the lowest level one, isn't it? But I don't think it's going to matter. The sentries honestly don't do that much in the old one's army this late. Alright, I'll make that F. This is V. And... Blow them all up. Whoops. They're all dead already, actually. Ow. Rude. How long does our sentry last? I don't know, but it's pretty effective. Oh, this would be a good opportunity to test the Starfleet. Well, even though celebration celebration is doing the job pretty well, actually. Let's grab Starfleet real quick if I can remember where I put it. Starfleet, that's not it. Crap. Conference call. Uh, I don't want to fail the event. Dart Rifle. Onyx Blaster. Uh, where is it? We can try it next time. I think we have enough deeps. For this event. I know it's only wave 3, but still. couple of Eternia crystal, uh, of Eternia mana lying around somewhere. And I know not where. In fact, I don't know where it could be. Is that it? If, if it's exactly two... no. That knockback is insane.
This is unfair. Make sure we stop whatever's over there. Oh, I think I I think I found it. Yep, now we're at an even 30. I don't want to find out the hard way when the rainbow crystal stuff runs out. So we'll keep refreshing it. That's not our boss. I think it's wave 7 that our friend shows up. Also, I should be using the bow for something that's easy to hit. Single target peeps. Oh, I, I see the problem. My muscle memory tells me it's in slot 3. Oh, that nearly killed us instantly. Despite how easy they are to kill right now, these things do hit really, really hard. much. There's such a light show on the screen, I can't always follow what's going on. Wave complete, but that just means they've stopped spawning. The main event is coming up soon. 17 seconds as a matter of... oh crap. That health might cost us, actually. That's going to cost us a bit of time. Time we need to kill... Oh crap, here she is. Okay. The only question is, can we kill her before the crystal dies? Actually, I guess with how easily I can clear the enemies that are attacking it, it's not that simple. It's not just a race against time. Oh my god, die. I think I should probably use Mage? Final Prism would be a good way to go. Yeah, I, I don't think we got this. She does attack the Eternia Crystal. That's weird. I'm used to her just hunting me. And the thing is, I can't defend the thing while she's after me. Um, but that didn't work out quite the way I expected. Alright. Did we get the relics? Dark Mage Relic, Ogre Relic. I don't think we had those yet because of the way the crystal... Eternia Crystal works. Oh, we probably had the Dark Mage Relic. Ogre... ...is in here somewhere. Skeletron Prime, and then Ogre. Here we go. Ogre Relic. And I think we already had the Dark Mage, surely. 
Actually, yeah, no, I think we've killed the Dark Mage before, but this is probably the first time they dropped relics. Dark Mage goes after Brain of Cthulhu. Is this Brain of Cthulhu? That's Brain of Cthulhu, I think. Yes. Alright. Brain of Cthulhu goes here. Dark Mage Relic goes here. And then we've got Hive Mind, I believe. Yes, indeed. Alright, so boss wise, we're like three quarters of the way through, I guess. Well, relic-wise, that is. Let's put the Shroomite armor away for good. Fantastic. I might put some green dye on it, because it'll look like Doom Guy's set, maybe. We need a, a bit of a darker green, but yes. Good morning, burgers, burgers and fries. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but it's about time to finish up the stream for today, actually. Let's see who Aziz is playing Light. Terraria. Aziz Light? Okay. There we go. Uh, who is playing Terraria on the Twitch? Did you do SE earlier? Uh, not today, that's um, yesterday and the day before. Um, I actually forgot to change... Well, I didn't forget to change the title. I changed the title except for the part where I click confirm, basically. Silly Aussie's stopping stream first thing in the morning. Yeah, it sucks. What, what are you going to do? Um, is anyone doing Calamity, perhaps? Moonlord in Calamity, easy dot 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 right. So they're almost exactly where I was up to. Let me just have a peek and make sure that people can actually chat in there. And that we're able to raid them. Okay, that's probably fine. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, tomorrow we'll be continuing Calamity. And then a couple of days after, back to Oni for two days. And what is it? One, two, three, four, five. Five days we'll be doing space exploration again. Thank you for the stream. Have a good night slash morning. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. Evil Pla, take care. Thanks for hanging out as well. Fine Aussie start streaming for M for me in the morning. Nice. Thanks for the stream. Take care, burgers. Thanks for dropping by. And uh Actually This is one of those streams where like 30% of the screen is taken up by stuff that we're not here to look at, so I might look for another one, actually. I couldn't see it at first because ads. Uh, who's playing Terraria? Terraria with the game. Calamity time, ignore that I forgot to change title, please. Can relate. Make sure the chat's good. Seem I accidentally clicked through the rules, but it seems like we can type. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that for Factorio. If you have any questions, by all means. And see you next time.